your kids ever cry so much they throw up? No. Mm, kids will do that. I, I've never done that, but like, I've seen kids. Ricky, my cousin, my mm-hmm. nephew Ricky, he yeah. used to. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, to, like you're so insanely like sad mm-hmm. and crying that you just got to start throwing up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why. He used to throw up for, for the littlest <laughs> shit. For the dumbest things, he would, oh, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's like Step Brothers. He's like, <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> my nephew used to do that shit all the fucking time, yo. Bro. Like I would, that would be spiteful at that Wait, point. Like, like yo, you're in he trouble. would like you throw it? up. <laughs> like I'm gonna throw up. Don't no, you no, me. he'd be <laughs> just crying, and then he'd be like, "I'm gonna throw," up. and then he'd actually throw up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, "Yo, he wasn't lying. He said oh, he was gonna." Now and he I gotta did. pick that shit up. <laughs> he I did mean, that. I he, feel like that would be an effective story. Like if I were his parent, I would probably work around that just to get him to not throw up. Like, listen, I don't want this kid to cry until yeah. he throws up. One time, I farted and got him to throw up. <laughs> 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 like, oh. I've made people like, gag, oh. but I've never actually gotten somebody <laughs> no, to I got, throw up. I got my to throw impressive. up. <laughs> That's brutal, bro. That is brutal. That's uh. <laughs> I think the worst fart I ever had. It was I stunk up the backyard at a cookout. Like we were outside. The <laughs> we were all outside. outside. <laughs> I mean, a good chunk of the backyard. Bro, people were pissed. They're like, why does it smell? Why is there no wind? Do you know what's going on? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. This was around the time when, when I met Johnny. When my nephew would just come in and be playing video games with me and shit. He was little. He just, he just fart, and once it hits his little nostrils, he's like, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. Remember, if you enjoy our content, please have your friends rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast on their favorite platform. Also, if you watch us on YouTube, please hit that like button and have your friends subscribe there as well. If you want to support us financially, please go to insensitivemerch.com and cop some gear. Stay drippy with drippy. And we're going to have some new merch at some point, Mm -hmm. uh, dropping. Uh, But other than that, here we go. And here we go. You want to be like? Sensitivity equals fucking poverty. Insensitive culture of the podcast. Check it out, homie. Everybody, welcome to episode 103 of Insensitive Culture. As always, you know me. So what? You know my guy over here. And that fool blazer, what, Ramon? On the other end is always. Man, you know who the hell we be. Insensitive Culture, the podcast. Make sure you check it out. I mean. That's us. Yeah, that was oh. dope. <laughs> okay. I felt like I was on stage at like a concert or something. That yeah, was... pretty soon that's going to be a live recording. <laughs> you know who we be. Fire. She. You know who we be. I'm not, I'm, it's not, no, every time, you know exactly who we are, we are, exactly, so what's up, what's up, y'all? She, what how y'all feeling, how y'all feeling today? I'm trying to get amped up, man, just had Chilling. a good ass laugh, mm. I, I'm That's telling y'all, so y'all need this extra, <laughs> I need this extra content before we, uh, <laughs> I just reeled it back pre-show. in, bro, don't fuck it, <laughs> this, yeah, the pre-show, the pre-show is definitely <laughs> that was, uh, that stuff was. you should pay for. <laughs> oh man, but nah, man, I'm feeling good uh, yeah, I'm coming good. into this week now. I feel it feels a little weird because we're recording on a different on a different day. So like you know when we record on the same day, you get like kind of amped up. When it's a different day, you're like, right? Oh man, I got to get myself, I got to get myself ready now. Especially when it's a day early. Mm-hmm. Earlier is yeah. always a little different. It's like oh shit, right after the weekend too. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like, fuck. It's like the beginning of the week is supposed to suck, but 
it's dope because we get to do this. So like <laughs> yeah. it kind of makes it makes look Mondays better it. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, we look forward to it. And why exactly um, are right. we recording the day early? If you want to tell the folks. Ah, uh, what do we got? We got uh, we have a oh, little yeah, a little comedy watching. show. Yeah, we're uh, watching tomorrow. some Tom Segura. Our Ooh. boy Tommy Buns. Yeah, we got a uh, mom's we got a house. We have a show uh, that we got that we got a. Uh, we got to go enjoy tomorrow. So we're going to get drunk. Got to go. going to be worrying about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we have to go. This is, this to. is it's mandatory. A, it's a must bro. go. Yeah. It's a must go. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We're going. Well, so, yeah. So we're he, was in, bit. he was in, I feel like Cleveland was the closest he came because that's where I had to go see him a couple mm. years ago when uh, when he was doing his last tour. Oh, he's growing though, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like, I mean, he's been in Buffalo. Oh, heck, he's yeah. got a couple shows in the rock here. Like yeah. he's. He's fucking doing his thing, dude. I'm, I'm super stoked, too, because, like, when we, uh, you know, the last show that I went to, it was it was the Take It Down tour, mm-hmm. and then he released the Netflix special, like, yeah. shortly after oh, that. Oh, that shit was hilarious. It was, and that was the, the g- majority of the material that he did at the show. Right. So, like, when that dropped, I was kind of like, oh, fuck, like, I saw... You saw All everything. This. Yeah, that's pretty, the thing I mean, about a lot a, of that. There was a couple things in there that I didn't, but like yeah. for the most part, I remembered a lot of those jokes, and it it kind of bummed me out a little bit. Uh, I went through that with Kevin Hart. Mm. I saw Kevin Hart one year. I forgot. I forgot which show it was, uh, but I remember seeing him in Buffalo, and it was a great show. But by the time that special hit, uh, you know, Netflix or whatever it dropped on. Mm. I, I knew a bunch of those jokes too, so I know exactly how you yeah. feel. It's almost like you don't want, but you, man, the live show is always going to oh, be the much li- better. Yeah, so. the live show. It's not even like sports either. We're like, you go to a football game, bro, and like, it's fun. Yeah. But if you want to watch the game and see the game, like, there's nothing like watching it no, on TV. Exactly. Like, you're right there. You right. see everything. It's dope. You're comfy. Mm-hmm. But like, with comedy shows, bro, it's a hundred thousand percent better just to be there and, yeah. and feel the vibe and, and everything. It's, it's a good time. I'm right. excited. No, I am. I am too. Can't wait. Yeah, it's no gonna doubt. be a great, great time. Mm-hmm. Um, Can't wait to hear all about it. <clears throat> hell yeah! She you already know we'll though. Recap. We'll recap. We'll, we'll we'll let you know how that goes. We're gonna we're gonna say all of his jokes word for word um, next week on the pod. So y'all, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, do, his, we'll do that whole. Yeah, <laughs> we're that gonna transcribe shit. it. We're gonna be yeah. We're gonna charge you for that. So same <laughs> right. delivery and everything. We're good. We're good like that. Oh, all right. Man. So we're gonna jump in uh, to some questions. Like we always do. Word. Questions, questions, questions. questions. Bam, bam, bam. All right, guys. <laughs> First <All right>. question. <laughs> <laughs> when y'all were younger, back in the 90s, okay? Yeah. Which team's starter jacket did you need to cop? What was the must cop starter jacket for y'all back in the day? And it could vary depending on where you lived, where you grew up. But, I mean, I have... Obviously, there's one in my head, and you yeah, all no, know. I mean, we all know that. Um, <laughs> there was a couple. Honestly, there was a backup one too that I, I definitely would have taken. And, and the starter jackets. I mean, I'm picturing the like the pullovers. Which that, one that did we you have though? I had I had the Mighty Ducks. Mm. I had oh. the Mighty Ducks pullover. I did too. That um, was the one I had. The official it, Anaheim it was, Mighty Ducks. Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, Anaheim yeah. Mighty Ducks, yeah. and it was. Uh, it wasn't even like it was bought new like it was from like like the easiest one to get it was the freest one to get (laughs) (laughs) just like yeah i don't i don't wear this anymore will it fit you and it did and i was like fuck yeah i have no idea i had i had the uh anaheim mighty ducks i have no idea why i had that one specifically it must have been the easy one to cop it must have been um or or just like i don't know the colorway or something because i just remember it being purple and green um and i remember not knowing that the Mighty Ducks were a legit team. Yeah. I, I, I thought, thought it was, was the movie, the bro. Movie, yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, Goldberg, the knuckle puck. Like, yeah, this and is I'm like, dope. why and isn't like, it green? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why isn't it green and yellow? Green and yellow, yeah. Like, why is it purple? Where's this purple coming from? Exactly. Yeah. Yep, so. But I still rocked the fuck out of it. It was still official. Like, it was, and it's still, like, the inside, the like, the pocket, the big pocket in the mm-hmm. middle had, like, a fucking tear in the bottom. So if I put anything in there, it was, like, it was inside of the fucking jacket lining at that <laughs> yeah. point, bro. But oh, I still, times. nobody knew that, you know. So good I was, still, I was still cool. Cool when I was rocking that no, shit. The one I wanted though was the, uh, the Chicago Bulls, Fuck just because yeah. it was that yeah. bright red, you know. Because the Bulls out. were the shit, the bro. Bulls like in the shit. '90s, like yeah. the Bulls were just yeah. killing it. I was all about Jordan and Pippen and all those guys, bro. Yeah. Like I, I wanted that jacket. And every Christmas, every birthday, 
I would ask for it. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, this is the year. This is the year I cop nope. this jacket and I would get myself stoked. And then I would open my shit and be like, fuck, I ain't get shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I did, that. I did get shit, but I ain't get my jacket. <laughs> and then I, fuck wants a PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. No, I was pumped when I got my PlayStation. <laughs> I was like, fuck's the jacket. By the time PlayStation came out, bro, I was over the jacket. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, all right. Well, what would that have been? Nah, Super PlayStation Nintendo? PlayStation came out in mid-90s, I think. What was that? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, because I, I was a sophomore in high school when the PS2 came out, and that was like 2001. 90, 94, oh, December 3rd of 94 was the original Damn, PlayStation. Bro. Was the original? Oh, I didn't get it in 94. I must have got it in like 96. Yeah, I probably. Like my, dad wasn't, my dad wasn't buying me a new PlayStation it was, So it was 94. released in Japan uh, in 94, oh, yeah. and then oh. in North America, September of 95. Yeah, you know, 96, I probably Christmas of 96 is probably when I got it. I can't remember if I shared this story or not. And then we'll get back to that question of the dumbest fucking mistake that I've ever made uh, in it. my life. Oh, any um, of the dumbest what, mistake? What, it wasn't the dumbest, dumbest mistake. mistake I'm, I'm, yeah. I can think of a couple more. <laughs> yeah, that, that were way dumber than that. However, um, it, w- it was a stupid mistake involving a video game system. I actually received... For Christmas, the first PlayStation, when it was new. Yeah. I was stoked. I didn't know about the change from the uh, uh, the, the converter in the back. You know, I think it's like the analog with the three. The yellow, the red. Three, yeah. Yeah, 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 I didn't know about that. I always remembered from the PlayStation and everything, because before that, it was like Channel 3, you turn over the converter or whatever. Yeah, I had a little box, you'd a flip little the RF little switch converter, in there, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. I had no idea about that. So like a dumbass, I had my dad return the PlayStation. Guess what I got instead? An Atari? A fucking Sega Saturn. Ooh. Yes, so I returned Ooh. a PlayStation and got a bo- Sega bo- Saturn. Bo- Doesn't the Sega Saturn, though? It was it, trash. It, didn't it have to connect to the original Sega? Like, no. Was, what am no, I thinking? That was the oh, Sega I'm thinking of Sega CD. Sega CD. Yeah, Sega CD. Yeah, 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 Johnny, you got it. No, Sega Saturn <laughs> was yeah. one that tried to play around with realistic graphics but it was actually like record i just remember it was it you was so bun that, dol- that dolphin echo game you played echo didn't <laughs> yeah you? probably, probably. <laughs> i remember trying like i don't i can't even i can't even think of a video game that stood out to me as like this game was my shit on sega saturn uh, tekken i couldn't maybe maybe was tekken i feel like tekken was always a sega go-to for some maybe reason. i don't know maybe. yeah but nothing sticks out because every game that I would rent, it was just trash. I tried to rent a football game, and it was like you would throw the ball, and then it was a recording of like an actual football player like getting hit in the back, like a video recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. it wasn't like they tried to go that route with it, mm, and I was to get like, too oh. realistic. You're like, yo, I just want to play fucking PlayStation. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was just trash. It was it was like, the worst dad, worst dad, experience. Take ever. this back. So that, was, um, oh, man. so that was a really That's stupid rough, mistake. Shit, I yeah, had I mean, a fucking. You didn't know. You I had, didn't know. I had neither of those. I somehow <laughs> was convinced by my brother that the PlayStation was a terrible system and wasn't uh, going to, you know, meet wasn't the needs take off. and it wasn't going to yeah. take off. Um, I'm not sure if, I don't think the N64 had come out yet. And definitely Sega Saturn was already getting dogged. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> my brother convinced me to get a 3DO. Uh. (laughs) your brother's like larry david in that new commercial where he doesn't believe in any of the tech that comes out (laughs) i had some fire ass games for it though i'll tell you that i remember that's the first um 3do but i never played john madden football that i played was uh on the 3do yeah um for sure and uh and fifa i was playing fifa i remember um, and then I'm looking for this fucking, there was this one like, um, uh, alien fighter game where you're like in a, in a spaceship. It's not super wing commander. Um, mm. I'm trying to see if I find it here. I can't believe that, uh, it's not on any of these, uh, lists. Everyone's the star control. Nah, that was definitely not the game I played. Um, <laughs> was that? that was not it. But yeah, Three definitely. Video. The 3DO was my shit for mad long mm. until I it got the Xbox. Be. You had no choice. <laughs> well, yeah. until Ricky got the Xbox. 
<laughs> so Ricky, got, <laughs> so Ricky bought you that Xbox, my homie. Right, right. My homie. Just to reel it, just to reel <laughs> it back, Johnny. Did you ever own one of those starter jackets? Um. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring it back there. Uh, yeah. Same. Uh, so the the question was which one that I want, and uh, yeah, for yeah, sure yeah, the Bulls. Um, yeah. For all the same reasons you mentioned, right? Like I was a huge Bulls fan, a huge mm-hmm. Jordan fan at the time. Plus, it looked fire. It was that bright red shit, and uh, yeah, and it yeah, was popping. Looked. And dope. they had the black one too. I don't know if y'all remember the. I black do remember. Bulls yeah, polo the black and gray. I think it was. Black I would have fucked with right? that too. Yeah. I would have fucked with that. I think hard. that's the one my brother had. My older brother had. Yeah. I think but, he had um, them both. Nah, I. Uh, I, w- I w- my parents never fucked around and and ever got me. I never got any uh, starter jacket. As a matter of fact, I think what I ended up having was uh, so I know for sure. Like at one point, my brother had a Bills one, and like after a while, when like starter jackets weren't even cool anymore, he had handed it down yeah. to me, and I think I might have worn it once or twice. But the Bills had already lost the all four Super Bowls, so they weren't even. Mm-hmm like cool to rock anymore right um, right it's so like 2001 I, yeah it was i wasn't resp- i wasn't <laughs> nah this was like 97 or something 96 so okay. i was like i don't know that i really want to but actually what ended <laughs> yeah, up happening when, during those cool. days um like i said so my fo- my folks did <laughs> my folks uh, would they would they what they ended up getting me was i don't know if y'all remember the uh the pro player jackets <laughs> Which is like the bootleg <laughs> starter jacket. I'm pretty sure that's what I got too, Doc. Yeah. I had a Green Bay jacket like that. I definitely had Yankees a pro player jacket. jacket. Yeah. I was going to tell you, uh, why do you want a starter jacket? We have starter jackets yeah. at home. And it's the pro player <laughs> jacket. Pro player jacket. <laughs> that just, yeah. You might as well have got that shit at Walmart. Word. It probably <laughs> Bro, was. I was the. Nah, I think mm-hmm. it was. Uh, what was that? Uh, JCPenney. It was probably JCPenney. Yeah, JCPenney. Sears. Gold Circle. Gold circle. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. I, I see that. Oh, yeah. I see them. Yep. yep. That's exactly. <laughs> Dave is like, fuck. I didn't yeah, even I have had, a starter I had, jacket. I had that Bulls jacket. <laughs> I had that pro player Bulls joint. It was probably like seventeen ninety nine somewhere. My dad scooped it up. That's what's up. That looks like the one that the uh, the the dads would wear. For sure. They're like all baggy, like puffed up and shit. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, yep. I see it now. That's it. Um, now my brother had had all that shit, and it never got handed down to me. Just got ruined and tossed it out. Just got yeah. He probably just was just like, "Ah, eh, I'm done with this. Throw it out." <laughs> Fuck that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shockwave. Right. That was the name of the fucking game. Shockwave. Shockwave. Finally, it's able oh, to find shit. that. I'm going to have to Shockwave. find some gameplay trailers yeah, later. Yeah, you Check it out. <laughs> I was going to say, though. That was, about, um, that was lit. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was the, the like, my school, go, like, growing up in the hood, all the kids had the legit Jordans, the Bo Jacksons. The Bo Jacksons, Like, damn. all the crazy shit in, in elementary school. And I was that kid. I remember specifically, it was one that, that got retroed recently. I think they were like the something turf, the Nike Pro Turfs or some shit like that. Okay. But I remember they had like a, a strap on the front with the Nike sign and everything. I was the kid that walked into the school with a sneaker that looked similar, but my strap had a lightning bolt. Oh, it wasn't yeah. even a Nike. <laughs> it wasn't even. No, nah, my, mom, my mom did the whole pay less. Pay less for sure. Bro, they were cheap, bro. Like, no, I mean, can't. I feel you. Like my kid, I want to get him all that stuff. And you, honestly, the shit that he like, like he he'll have Nikes, he'll have Uggs, he'll have all this shit. And he, he, you know what his favorite boots are right now? Some whack ass, some, some Spider Man, Spider Man yeah. Target boots that light up on the side. Those are his absolute favorite. <laughs> he picks it every single time. Bro, don't get my man nothing name brand until he specifically requests it. Just right. give him that, those Keds. Get him a nice pair of Keds. <laughs> send his ass to school. I, yeah, right. and he likes shit like that because my, my girl buys him stuff yeah, like that. That's... Even just the Converse, like, we'll we'll get him those. And that, that's his shit. Pair of they're, just, <laughs> they're just hard to, to get him on and off of him. So <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't stay still. So they're probably the best shoe for that. All right, what's the, uh, what's the next question? All right. You're at a bachelor party, mm-hmm. strip club. Mm-hmm. You get to go down on a stripper. Oh. Is that something to brag about 
or is that just gross? Yeah, that's <laughs> Absolutely gross. That's so the, no, uh, off, off, no, off the top of your yeah. head, my gut reaction is to say, ew, stripper, that's gross. But at the same time, think about, think about the last time, not the last time we were at a strip club, but the time before the last time we were at a strip club, mm -hmm. a lot of those girls, they're about their bread. Depends they don't give. Go. They don't give a fuck about you. They want their money. Mm -hmm. So if you somehow convinced a stripper that yo we should get down, like there's an aspect to that that I think is kind of impressive because you're just a customer to them. Like they don't give a fuck. They don't see your face. It's probably dark, but you you pulled this stripper somehow, Depends. and maybe maybe she's one of those you know those strippers that are just putting herself through Princeton so that she can become a career woman someday. It, it depends. It, it depends. De it depends on the place on the that place, you're at. Correct. So I'm at the Mirage, bro. I'm not going down on any strippers well, there in the Mirage. Well, so. here's the here's here's the thing. <laughs> the mirage does here's, exist though. It does. Here, here's unfortunately. the difference. Here's the difference, right? At the Mirage, right? And I've and I've seen some beautiful girls at the Mirage. So it's like we're just in a market where it's just like. It's not. It's not <laughs> always not a great. This it's not Atlanta. always the best this season for strip Atlanta. clubs, right? All right, or so Houston. let's call it like but some will, Vegas high-end stripper. Or well, or, no. Well, okay. here's here's my point. We're at scores. We're at scores in the city. No, 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 no. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. <laughs> where okay. I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. No. <laughs> well, well let me let, let me get through my reason why I'm staying here. What, what I'm saying is, is like because you've. You, all right, so if you go to the Mirage or to the Barrel or something, you know what is allowed, what's not allowed. Um, I'm sure if you have enough money, you can talk the girl into doing something oh, fast. outside uh, outside of the the building, With right? Money, the premises, yeah. right? With money, wh whatever. But and, and not all of them are going to be willing to do that. But it's not. Unheard it, of. That would be like a win, right? It's yeah, it's it's. It's a little bit more of like a, a challenge here. Sure. You go to Toronto, mm. you're getting you're getting blowies for this. <laughs> so they'll tell you right there, yo, if you want to have sex, like it's this much, you're getting a blowy for this much. Like they're willing to do much more. Mm -hmm. So they are actually like strippers slash prostitutes. Whereas in most cases, you would you go to a strip club, it's a it's a strip club. The girl is stripping. Shh. There's not it's much very, more very, to go. It's very transactional. It's very transactional. Sure, and I'm sure. sure you can coerce, you know, some, a couple of them to do whatever. But sure, I guess sure. that is the situation where it's like if literally every single time I've been here and I've gotten a lap dance and every girl is offering me a blowjob and a, I'm probably not going to want to yeah, do that. No, that's a little. <laughs> you yeah, you get what I'm saying? Sure. Like. So it, that's why I say it's situational, absolutely, uh, and and where you are, because like at the Mirage, you go there, they're you know they they might be on you, they'll get a you'll get a lap dance, they're trying to play you, they're trying not to do any of that, but they're trying to mm -hmm. get you for more and more of your songs or whatever. Yeah, and I'm sure you know I'm sure they smash, but I I know guys who have dated girls who are strippers at like the Mirage or something like that. Mm, that's tough. I don't know if I would. All, all, all <laughs> these things that you're saying are a absolutely accurate. I'm just more on the um, the question was go going down. On yeah, a if you go down on yeah, it, you're going down. You're not just no. That's a yeah. whole different game than just fucking <laughs> a stripper. Um, right. You mean you're in it? Like you're, point, you're you're making love. Yeah, you're. <laughs> that's love making. And <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone. <laughs> and that's I don't know of anyone yeah, that has a, gained points pulling out some nah. dental dam. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you always go to the strip club with the saran wrap yeah. ready to go. It's like, all right, is it going down tonight? You just pop that shit. Like, yo, yeah. I got it. <laughs> I, got, you I just, got it. You just walk in. <laughs> you just walk. <laughs> they can see the, 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 Reynolds, <laughs> the Reynolds sticking out yeah. of your pocket. They're like, oh, my man came to fuck around tonight. <laughs> is that Reynolds wrap in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? I'm like, no, that's Reynolds wrap. I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I think I've told y'all this story too about uh, when I was, I was like, I had, it had to be, I went to Toronto with my boys on a, uh, an, in a limo. And this was obviously a long, a long time ago trip. because I remember, I remember that I was too young to, to, to drink here, So you okay? So you're but I was 19, legal over 20. there. So I was, yeah, 1920. And I remember 
obviously we're in a limo. We go, we get drunk. Everybody's drunk. By the time we get there, we continue drinking. I, I remember uh, we're watching a stripper on one of the, it, it wasn't even like the main floor. It was just like a, a circle. Oh, okay. And she's just like stripping there. And she was dope from what I remember. And, um, and I just remember being mesmerized by her because I'm young, right? And she drops a piece of ice in my mouth. And, and, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And then I look at, I look at my boy Chunk, um, who's uh, he's one of my best friends. And he's just like, no, 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 <laughs> like that. And I was like, and I just remember looking at him, my eyes just getting real big. And I just spit it out like, ah. and they all start <laughs> laughing uh, because I didn't realize I didn't watch her rub that ice on her pussy before oh. throwing <laughs> it <laughs> in my <laughs> fucking mouth. And I was just like, oh, right, fuck. So you basically right. have eaten out a stripper. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. A Canadian stripper. Thank thank God nothing uh, nothing bad came from and, that. But you got to also remember, the, the question specifically mentioned bachelor party as well. So when you're at a bachelor <clears throat> party, you're crunk, bro. You're yeah. in the no, champagne I'm not, room. I'm not eating pussy. She pulls her shit out, and you're just Could like, Could be a private okay, event as well. If it's a bachelor That's, party, yeah. maybe you're not even in a strip club, right? You might be at like a, in a so house the, gathering or something. The, the, last, the last bachelor party I went to for my cousin, my cousin's mm. bachelor party, we were at the Classy Cat, and we got one of the strippers and a security guard. <laughs> To come to this dude's house. Yeah. Like okay. there's two of the strippers and a security guard. Right. And they basically did a show at the house. Like yeah. it and you ate that pussy. Could have but like I was I was I was too fucked up to do anything. Like there's you were face ins, deep. Ins, oh, I was the best man, so like me and him, we both got fucked up <laughs> by, okay. by the stripper she was violent dude she was violent <laughs> <laughs> she yeah was it was violent. i'll tell you about it sometime bro it was wild i have some pictures too that are saved in my All phone right. not good. Nah, please elaborate <laughs> no like they they were they they tore my shirt and shit and they, like they got flour and water it was weird bro it was a very it was a weird time in my that's life a show that's a show <laughs> that is a show um to answer that question i i would not be it would not even cross my mind to to um i would never eat a go stripper down out. on a stripper yeah I, no. I don't know if I was like in Vegas and it's like a super no. fine stripper. Oh my god, that's I'm gonna like, be even I, worse. I, I, I might think Oof. about it. I might think about it. <laughs> even less, bad, bro. Bad, 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 there's bad, bad, there bad is. strippers there, in like, Vegas. Absolutely. There's some those, bad those, ones those, in Toronto, those bro. Those major cities, bro. Like yeah. I, I, I know myself. I'm a weak dude. Like I would nah. probably succumb. Nah. To the cum. Nah. <laughs> nah, I mean, I. Yeah, if I'm if I'm single, nah. I'm smashing or something. But I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to be. Is, eat. This is under the assumption that we're single. Some, of course. Well, we got to. We, 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 we got. We got to make that gentlemen. known, though. Yes, we have to course. make that saying, known. I'm not going to pay some chick like five hundred dollars to go. Not down to on eat her. her out. No. <laughs> oh, no, whoa, whoa. No, who's no, no. who's paying anything? That's. Oh, that's why it's impressive. You're, you you're, go not, for free? you're not paying. You, oh, that's you, the point, bro. Like she's just you're hitting for free. Well, dog. this is why you're, I'm saying you're, you're this is, that's you're talking about lovemaking at that point, and I'm still not doing yeah, that with no, a stripper. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. All I'm right. not thinking about. All right. Yeah, I'm not eat, thinking about munching that box, bro. I hope we don't have a lot Maybe of stripper some 69 fans. 69 shit. There, I don't know. We'll see. It's nothing I against mean, strippers. What, what's the difference? It's nothing so at against. You're getting sucked too. Like you're both getting. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I gotta get something out of this. It's not it's nothing against strippers the point but I would be hesitant to do that. I wouldn't it wouldn't be my go-to thing like I'm thinking like yo we're having sex this is what we're doing. It would not even pop into my head like yo I'm with a stripper right now. I'm about to go down on her right now. You know like it just I wouldn't mean, it just wouldn't come into my really head. I really love the choach and, and <laughs> you love the taste of choach and hers smells like it's super clean. That and they that's never, another they thing. They always smell maybe. like bo and then maybe. body gel. That's the other thing. That's yeah, another yeah, thing. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> like it was, so it was bachelor party, right? Yeah, she's fucking yeah. sweaty as yeah. fuck. She's been dancing oh, she's, on everyone. Nineteen sweaty. other guys that yeah, night. Yeah, especially yep. not. I'm not doing that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> if it was I mean, like at the not. end of the bachelor party, was saying, she was like, "Come what through if it was tomorrow." Like, there you go. There you go. Let me clean myself up a bit. Single Johnny. Then we get then we get to that point where you okay now uh, you have made a decision all right I'm gonna do this now you slide down a little bit you ain't get there yet and you get a little whiff (laughs) and you're like oh 
Yo, I'm coming right back up here, yo. <laughs> you just kiss her, like, you kiss her no, belly button. You gotta button. go. You gotta you go. go. You kiss her belly button and you work your way back up. You just get right back up. <laughs> <laughs> you still sticking it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 for sure, for sure, for uh, sure. He's just worried the entire time. I'm risking it all right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. Oh, it would be 100%. safe out here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, you, I, <laughs> hope, I mean, maybe Ripper, anyway. You be. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm, you never know. There's nothing against strippers. It's just <laughs> like if that's the profession, that's we don't know exactly, how deep she gets exactly. into it. It's not like it's not like a prostitute. Prostitute, you got to wrap it up 100%. No, right. yeah, right. But I'm I'm saying and not not I mean, all strippers stripper, are prostitutes, but at the same time, sure. you for would sure. you would still have that thought in your head like, uh, oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how deep she specifically gets down, so I need to take all precautions. That's fair. Fact. So that that's where my mind is. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. All right. Like if I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a step last, above uh, jerk question. off questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told y'all, bringing it back. All right. What seems like a cult, but actually, obviously, is not really a cult. A group of people. I mean, it could be a fan base. You know, anything, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. that comes to mind. Um, you know, what uh, what seems cultish to you guys? Uh, the church. Mm. <laughs> Facts. I mean, I feel like that. I feel like that basically. That is basically a cult. is I mean, a cult. Like, yeah, they just don't call it a cult. Right. It's like that. I mean, that is. I feel like a cult. It is. I, I feel. I no. I understand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I, I just had to throw that one out there, um, bro. Uh, sports fans, man. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Sports yeah, fans, for that, sure. That shit is a cult. That and and depending on the on the specific fan, would um, determine like how crazy they are. Because like they're like. It's, with baseball is super superstitious. Mm -hmm. So like they won't like change their socks or something because that <laughs> yeah. might be bad luck mm -hmm. or, you know, there's just, it, it, there's a lot of superstition. There's a lot baseball, of shit yeah. that, that, that just goes on in sports. That is very cultish and it's not necessarily the sports players. It's, it's the it's fans. The fans. Yeah. yeah. It's the fans. I mean, honestly, yeah, it's not the players at all. I think when you say sport, I think of the fans a hundred percent. It's, it's very, it's very cultish. Right. With without a doubt. Right. What do you got, Johnny? Anything? I'll I'll go uh, very, uh, in a similar manner, but um and this can be described with a couple of different groups, but I'll choose a specific one. So there I feel like a lot of different tech companies have their mm. cult followings. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. but some of the ones that I've seen that are the wildest um are the Tesla fans. The Tesla oh, fans yeah. will go to motherfucking bat and jump in front of any bullet shot at Elon Musk. They fucking love. You can't say shit about electric cars. You can't say shit about Tesla specifically. You can't say shit about autopilot and, and full self-driving. You just say any anything about that shit on Twitter and you will automatically mm -hmm. get people coming at you to defend this motherfucker's company that you're not making yeah. any money off unless, uh, right. but now there's also the people that do it because they are making money off of it. Right. There's tons yeah. of the Tesla super fans that are um, also, um, I, I don't even know if they're, I would say they're real full investors. Some of them are, you know, just uh, Tesla stock owners. Some of them, yeah, you because know, I mean, that Tesla stock is like, I don't know, 900 bucks, 1,000 bucks a share. <laughs> so they might only own like a quarter of a share. <laughs> I'm fucking Robin Hood or some shit. Right. But they still, whatever you got, right? If it's going to make money and if it's going to, you know, they're going to, yeah, they're going to go up there and defend it. So that's what I'm going to go with. I, these Tesla, and, and don't get me wrong, I fuck with. I, I fuck with the Tesla shit hard. I think this shit is Hell dope yeah. as fuck. Hell yeah. Um, it's very dope. But, uh, uh, but we don't blindly follow Elon nah, Musk and nah, shit. Definitely like it's not. not. It's not that serious. Yeah. Like my man posted some like uh, I didn't even see it or read too much about it. But he like posted some Nazi meme the other day and then mm. like quickly deleted it. And obviously people are coming at him like this motherfucker <laughs> yeah. is an idiot. But then, of course, the Tesla fans, the Elon Musk cult a uh, group of folks come out here uh, defending him on his behalf. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to go with. Fucking the Tesla <laughs> Roddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I still want a Cybertruck. 
Oh fuck yeah, those are, those look dope. I mean, they, they look strange, but they kind of look. Yeah, they no, look it, I, it grew time. on me. I, I for sure was talking mega shit about it. like Judge Dread or some shit. Yeah, Demolition and then man. and then you throw that like warthogs, bro. That's what oh, I was gonna yeah, say. You throw you throw yeah. that little <laughs> four. You throw that little uh, the four wheeler on oh, the back yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely, it's a warthog, yo. Facts. <laughs> it looks fire. It looks All dope. it needs is a turret on the top. <laughs> yeah, one of one of my boys actually uh, uh, put a, uh, a payment down for it. Mm. So, oh, nice! But he's Got not getting it for Damn. like the next like yeah, I don't know, Lord knows how long. Shit. Yeah, that shit hasn't even started production. They haven't even dropped one yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad's got a crazy. payment on it. Uh, Elon Musk has the only one. Basically, yo. So I, my my initial gut reaction obviously was Apple. Apple fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this, Same vein. you've always heard drinking, drinking the Kool-Aid, that sort of thing. But then I thought about it and I, I really feel like Android fans are more hardcore mm. only because I feel like of the iPhone users that I know, they're, I mean, they're, they're open to whatever, you know, is the best platform what is, where is yeah. the best phone? Like myself personally, like I love Apple. I've had iPhones for, you know, since probably 2010. Like it's yeah. been, it's been a while since yeah. I've had a I've non- never, own, I've never owned an Android phone. Oh, I had a Droid never. X back in the day. Like yeah. I've, this is when I was with Verizon before they got the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Like I, it was the closest thing that I could yeah. get with them to the having droid. an iPhone at the time. Droid. Yeah. The dro- droid. Yeah. The little mechanic, you know, <laughs> the, the droid drop. Um, but like the Android fans, users that I know personally just motherfuck Apple and iPhones and anything like they are not open to, you know, anything Apple does, yeah. everything Apple does is trash. Tim cook is trash. Like they don't have open minds to like, you know, the, the pros of that, you know, the iOS or the Mac OS, like it's all garbage. They don't want to hear it. Whereas a lot of the iPhone users, Mac users that I've worked with and I've known, they, they don't seem that like, you know, there's not that line drawn like, oh, yeah, this isn't a, you know, an iPhone, like, fuck off. Like, it's, I feel like the, the Android users are really the most hardcore. And mm. because those Android users are like, oh, you know, it's, it's an open marketplace. I can sideload my apps and they, it's all yeah, about all customization. This, this and they don't bullshit. fucking customize shit, bro. They got a fucking yeah, Google uh, Pixel it, yeah. 6. Like, oh, that's your customization. Very cool. And, you know, when Apple drops something, they're like, oh, you know, Android's had this for the uh, past uh, seven yep. years, so you guys are late <laughs> to the party. Like, they're trust all me, it fucking... A- uh, bro, and it's not, I, yeah, it's not, even, it's not even necessarily the Android users. It's... Uh, I, I would... You think it's the Samsung? Is it more the Samsung I would... Pre- users? I would no, 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 no. I would, I would actually say non-Apple users because it really... Co- not, it's not even just the phone right it comes down to the like the computer too Mm -hmm. like um even with like my dad i was i was explaining to him he he was like you know my mac isn't working of course apple you know does something and i'm like you know of course that you know it stops working i'm like dad that computer you got when you know our brother worked for the company that was over that was more than five years ago. It was like a seven-year-old computer. He's like, yeah. And they make it so that seven years down the road, it doesn't work anymore. I'm like, <laughs> seven years is a long fucking time. If you if you get yourself a PC, a PC is not going to work after two to three years mm-hmm. where it's just so slow. You're going to buy a new computer and you're going to be happy to spend another 300 So then you get to a point where you've spent the same amount that you would have spent on the Mac in on, the same amount of time, but you don't notice that. Five right. different PCs over exactly. the course of yeah. so 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 that would I I would generalize that more so to it's it's Apple users yeah. and and, and anti not, Apple yeah, users. Yeah, non Apple oh, users. We like, get some PC very, haters. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and just a, a special mention to fans of Wegmans. Mm. Who I also include Ooh. as a yes, I, I, I am I am <laughs> yeah. I am we all are. about my Wegmans, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I will include we, myself yeah. <laughs> in this cult. We, I am cult. Like of there is oh, there is fact, nothing better than Wegmans, bro. Like I actually for those just of you found out that like I can get delivery from Wegmans through Instacart, and the the mm-hmm. the, the Wegmans that's closest to me is over thirty minutes away. Mm. Ah. And in another state, 
It's in New Whoa. Jersey. Jersey? It's Jersey. Right you across got the, coming the border <laughs> in New Jersey. And I've been there. Like, I, I drove there one time. It's a pretty new Wegmans. It's freaking awesome. For people that don't yeah. know Wegmans, like, that's what get your life explain. together. Yeah. Because Wegmans is the most, <laughs> the illest fucking grocery store of all grocery stores. It really and is. Maybe you can compare it to HEB or Publix if you live in those uh, regions, but um, if you're not from it, the it northeast, it surpasses both of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Wegmans there's is. There's I nothing still think like better. it. A hundred percent. There's there's nothing like it. Every single time we try to explain, I try to explain exactly what Wegmans is to someone who doesn't know what it is, and it's like it's a grocery store. Shop at shop shop at there, one of these exactly. grocery Rock stores, in. bro. That's it. I would go to little Just shop there when I was in California for my uh, my training. We, you know, I would go into a grocery store that was near my suite where I was staying, and it was just the most depressing, gross <laughs> place. Like, you know, the the white fuck. I feel like I was in like a doctor's office with these lights, bro. It just, it was sad. Yeah. Every other grocery store I've ever gone in, aside from like, I mean, I, Whole Foods. I feel like I've been in some nice Whole Foods, some nice Kroger before. Yeah, I think I went into Whole Foods, um, and it was but crazy. like. Crows really, are all right. Are good. these Crows other are places, right. bro, they, they're just sad in comparison. And I, I feel bad. Like, honestly, that's probably why I still live in this area because like, I really don't want to move somewhere <laughs> that does not have a Wegmans. Like I, I probably should have picked Wegmans over my probably, probably Apple you're phone, right. but like that it, it's, it really like it popped into my head as we were talking about, it. I was like, what's something that like, I'm serious about? And like, it's, it's influenced my life to the point where I haven't moved away from here because I don't, bro, I don't want to leave a fucking, you Wegmans, don't understand bro. like the impact that I had this weekend in my life when I was, when I pulled up Instacart and I realized that I could order from Wegmans and get all my Wegmans shit like that fucking basting oil that I like Ooh. die yeah. for and would like freaking get like six bottles every time I was back home in Rochester <laughs> and shit. And now I could get just get that shit delivered on Instacart. And the bonus here is because the Wegmans is in New Jersey, I get Wegmans plastic bags. <laughs> Oh, you oh. son of a bitch. Send me some. I miss those so much. <laughs> I my no God, paper I could bag cry. bullshit, New York State. I could, I could cry. Those wag me. Oh, man. I, I'm going to go there. I'm going to just see how many I can buy. I'm like, <laughs> just fucking. And I will bring my own Wegmans bag. Bro, I miss Wegmans plastic bags so much. Facts. <laughs> it's. It's it's, it's it's its own weird. cult. Like just just the Wegman's plastic bag cult, Yo, bro. Just for the plastic That's bags. It. You know, just for the plastic bags, dog. Just you, for the plastic bags. You know what's something that I always assumed everyone had, and uh, and and I found out that it, it wasn't the case. Uh, Danny actually, because uh, he moved to Florida, obviously, and um, and one thing that's not available there that we take for granted here is Poland Spring. Poland Spring Water. What? Oh. I thought that was a nationwide. No. Oh, no. It's not. Down in Florida, what? it's nope. Zephyr Hills. Yeah, they don't have Poland Spring. They don't have Does Poland it look the spring same with there. the green label on it? Nope. Like no, no, no. He, he it's comes a here spring. and he... It's a different spring. Because my brother works for, for the, the Nestle Water Company. So he, yeah. he um when he worked lived in Rochester, he worked for Poland Spring um, and... Uh, he delivered that water and shit and then he moved down to florida and got like a transfer and he worked at the zephyr hills water company which is a different like natural spring in florida but that's the the water that you get throughout all of florida um yeah if you want like that natural spring water you it's zephyr that's hills. Crazy. that's yeah. crazy spring to me. is too that's far away crazy bro yeah. i Every thought they time. shipped that shit around the world you go to japan and get a fucking bottle of poland spring and, no and in, that's uh, crazy in every time he comes home i think he it's buys like poland spring arrowhead i think is what it's called mm, yeah, yeah yeah you get arrowhead water arrowhead, yep. in, uh, in yep. california and the west coast that's the big spring water over there but yeah apparently like the spring water shit is wow. specific to regions but they're all owned by nestle <laughs> blew my mind and then, complete Something side tangent about. to the tangent to the tangent. I just found <laughs> out, and I sent this shit to my brother the other day because I thought it was fucking crazy. I seen this photo on Twitter uh, where someone had a screenshot, or not screenshot, taking a photo of the bottle of water from Nestle. And it was, um, it wasn't spring water. 
It was that Nestle purified water or whatever. But on yeah. the fucking ingredients, the shit yeah, says that this, this water could be f- sourced from the public tap s- water supply. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. These motherfuckers could be. are literally could be. selling you water. That's yeah. tap water, and they put through a Brita filter and put in a bottle. Mm-hmm. Now you pay yeah, me a dollar fifty. Again. That's why I buy that Wegman's water, dog. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> get that they don't fuck around like that. No, right. they probably do. Yeah, I got that All shit right, downstairs so, right um, now. <laughs> now, now. Wait, wait, wait. You make the Instacart guy drive from New Jersey to your house to deliver yeah. you Wegman shit, bro? Fuck that's yeah. So, that's so, do you tip them gnarly of at course. least? Like, do yes. you hook them up? I mean, up? this was okay. like, uh, at least to d- the, the one that I did this time, because it was just so wild, um, we, we went ham and bought mad fucking Wegman's shit. Uh, so it was probably like a good two hundred dollar order. I had to give my guy like a good twenty five dollars, I think. To nice. plus he's carrying, nice. you know, okay. water, right? So yeah, had to, I always had feel to bad when up. I make him bring the the thirty six pack or whatever that big ass <laughs> one is, bro. I'm like, yeah, just put that shit on the porch. I'll go home <laughs> grab it. But second. bro, thirty minute drive. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that they do it. <laughs> that no, cool. that's that, that's wild. That's that's dope though. You Hell still got yeah. your Wegman's access. I'm bro. fucking. I, I get it. I get hyped. it. Hey. <laughs> Get your Mrs. Renfro's. Yeah, actually, you know what? The <laughs> the, the, the Mrs. Renfro's that uh, that I get here at the Stop and Shop, they got the habanero one, but the um, the Wegmans only had the the green. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Renfro's. The green is good. But what if I did get from Wegmans was that screaming hot salsa from uh, Gourmet I Fresh, like I mentioned. That yep. that came uh, through. So for in anybody my order. who who doesn't know what the hell the they're chill. talking about, they were they've been talking about um, Our salsa. hot salsa. sauces. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the different. Uh, yeah, yeah, salsas, salsas, different brands of salsa that they fuck with. Because since we've did we've done the uh, hot ones challenge and all this. These spicy things, uh, we we really been into the uh, spicier side of uh, of Bro, foods. I don't know if it's you guys, but like nothing is spicy to me anymore. <laughs> like I try to, I try to eat. Look at I this try guy. to eat like no, no. I'm not saying I'm gonna eat like a one chip or anything, but like your normal stuff that I would have previously found spicy. Your even like the Mrs. Renfro's, like the salsas and shit. Like those used to like be hot, like to the point where I like, had be sweating and shit. And now I just. I can just crush it, and like I've been, <laughs> I've been putting jalapenos on shit. Like I just, oh, I, just I, I, yeah, I can't, okay. I can't, I can't stop, bro. And nothing seems like it's blazer Ramon. like it's satisfying that itch. Yeah, I was gonna say I gotta take some of these hot sauces to the house because I'm the only like word nobody at my house eats hot sauce other than Frank's. Like that's what my girl yeah. eats. That seven fifty Scoville different. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it's like get the fuck two hundred the fuck out of here. Sco- I have like crystal. Crystal Lake or not Crystal Lake. That's like where <laughs> yeah, Jason came from. Jason Burries. <laughs> but the, the Crystal, the, the Crystal like Louisiana hot sauce yeah, yeah, yeah. is what uh, it's what I've been buying because I feel like the Franks just, I was eating so much Franks like it, it wore my, it Franks, wore out. I couldn't, I couldn't taste anything basically. It seemed weird to me. Franks was never uh, a, a spicy hot sauce. It's nah, just, it just has flavor. a good taste to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, the, it's all flavor. Yep. All no. flavor. All right, guys. So before we get into the next segment, we are at the point where we're going to announce the winner Ooh. of the big drippy oh, that's hoodie. Right, two years. So for yeah, so uh, so if, if you're not aware, uh, on our IG we put up a post stating that uh, we will give away a um, a, a big drippy hoodie in honor of two years of the pod because we just recently hit two years uh, this past two years, weekend. So dog, two years, yes, sir. So, um, so here we go, right? So, let me record this so that you can throw it up on the screen. Oh, nice! But I pretty much set it up to a little spinning wheel, and I put everyone, uh, everyone's name on there. Okay. Um, and a couple of you went and rated and reviewed the show, so you got a couple extra entries. So, oh, nice! Yep. Beautiful. So let's see. All right, here we go. Our guy at Rank Ooh, the Podcast. Rank the Podcast. Ooh, rank okay. the Podcast. Yeah. Won the, uh, the, the, the big drippy hoodie. Uh, big that's dri- my guy. Never met him in never met him in real life, but he's a supporter of the show, always and he's always posting love. up our stuff. Always showing love. And, yeah, and showing love a lot it. of love. So uh, we definitely appreciate you, brother. And, um, and I'll be reaching out for your info so that we can get you your 
hoodie. Cheers. All right, You're- congratulations. Rank the podcast. That gets that's me enough. jacked, bro. That's that gets enough. me jacked up. Like, <laughs> it goes, it goes <laughs> way too long. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> it does. That's a very long. It's a very out. long one. I gotta, I gotta uh, adjust that, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, or at least figure out how we could do it a little bit better. But um, not, nah, guys. But you know what that means? We're getting into our uh, news segment, right? Oh. News clip. You know what it's time for. News clip. <laughs> News right, clips. <laughs> News, News clips requests. Um, all right, let's see what the fuck happened since the last time we had the show. There's been a couple of things that's gone on. Um, I, uh, we we spent a lot of time on this. Obviously, we even named the fucking title of the episode last week on the my boy Yay, but <laughs> he's been going. Yeah, he's been going shit crazy. has yeah. continued to happen. I hope somebody is helping but this my boy time is- out. I don't know. I don't know if this is what you're gonna hit on, but it's music. It's based on music this time, right? Yeah. So what? Uh, the, all I was gonna talk about is the fact that my, my guy is uh, decided to actually. Apparently, we'll find out tomorrow, which is two 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 <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, that's true. Uh, mm-hmm. But apparently, Don the Two will be released tomorrow. But you can't listen to it or hear it unless you buy uh, Kanye's specific. Uh, device to device, play yeah. music the back called the stem player yeah um so if you, you're not aware of what a stem is uh stems are used uh, often in um uh recordings um a stem is basically the full multi-track audio right so you know when you record you know your drums are on one track your audio is on another track your backup audio your you know, your synths, your cymbals, your snare, etc. Everything's on a different track. Um, and when you export the whole thing as individual wave files, that's called stems. So like when you, uh, when, a, when an artist goes to a, re- a studio, they record their shit and then they just tell the engineer like, all right, can you send me the stems? That means send me the full track of the, uh, of the recording uh, layered out by track. And so he has this, he's, he's been working together for a while now. Cause I, I feel like they announced he, he announced this player device probably like two years ago or more. Well, he, he did, he did release a stem player for Donda. For the original for the first Donda. Donda amp. Yeah. For the first Donda, he released the stem players and they sold out, but it wasn't exclusive to the stem player. Right. right? Okay. But, but so, yeah, he, I mean, he's been, um, uh, you know, working on this device for some time. Apparently, it's like the device, you can't add more music. Like, it's not connected. There's no screen or anything on it. You, you know, you can't connect it yeah. to the internet or anything. It's just preloaded with a specific stem. Um, and then, uh, I mean, I don't know why the fuck anyone would want to do this. Like, because the idea is to be able to listen to the album and then like turn tracks on and off at your pleasure, right? But why the fuck would you want to listen to a song and then be like, you know, I wonder what this sounds like without the snare? Like, am I a music producer? Well, like, what the yeah, fuck would I want to like, do that for? I think like, it who makes am sense I to... for me. It, it makes sense for like him to be like, man, I want someone to say, I wish I could listen to the stems on a portable device and be able to turn shit on and off so that I can figure out what the final product is going to be. But why the fuck would any like typical person, unless you want to create like acapellas or, uh, or vice versa, create instrumentals. Like I just, it doesn't make sense to me from what I, from what I've seen when he was promoting it on Donda, the first album, um, it's, it's a little, it, it is that, but it's, it's different. So with this specific player, you can tap certain areas and then add the snares wherever you want. And just kind of like, as you're tapping it, you're creating music along to the beat. So it makes it a little bit more, 
it, it's still a, it's like a stupid idea to make it over. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more interactive so because niche, you can tap. Though. Like, who wants it to is. do it's it? Very it's so fucking niche, bro. Like, I want to drive to work and listen to this shit. Like, I can't right. do that, right? Like, I where does is a USB? Like, does it plug into something? Like, so, this device? Do we? I don't even know. know. What it looks like. I think okay. So I here's the thing. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing is, uh, and and I think it might be a, a misconception. I don't know because the album hasn't dropped yet. But in the wording for for that, he specifically just said that he is not releasing, he's not streaming right. his album, which that means that he is not going to be on Apple Music. No he's not going to be on no Tidal. No he's not going to be no on YouTube, Spotify. Nothing, nothing like that. Yep. But but he did not. Uh, I think str- the well, fact he didn't that he say said he is not. He didn't say not on Tidal. Well, no, but he didn't say. He said that he is not going to stream the album. So to me, right. that tells me that it is going to be on this stem player, mm-hmm. which you know he's. It's like two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's yeah. for exactly. every yeah, single that's one. How much yeah. it is? Yeah. Um, but it, but also, I think he will still be releasing to like iTunes, where you can purchase you the can album. Purchase the album. Mm. But he is not. But he is not. He's not know. doing streaming. So the quote meaning from, like you from, can listen to it for free if you the, yeah if, if you're you, already subscribed to this correct. Yep. So, yep. so the the Instagram post where he announced this. Says Donda Two will only be available on my own platform, the Sten Player, not on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, or YouTube. Oh, so yeah, I don't so know he if it, he will he release it on not iTunes. On Apple. I it, promise you, even even if he he said that, even if he said that, his people will make sure that it's available <laughs> maybe, for purchase. Maybe no, maybe bro. yeah, maybe it will only be available on the Sten Player, but the part that he left out is for an entire week prior to it releasing on Apple, Spotify, (laughs) blah, blah, blah. Because whoever's going to fucking buy it. Then that's just going to be exclusive for a week. And then that (laughs) shit will be everywhere. But no, 100%. There's no way he's going to lose out on the millions of dollars that he would well, get from fucking streaming services, bro. A spiteful downward spiral. Is what it seems like. I mean, just like so in, the, in the same like, fucking post, he talks about uh, today artists get just twelve percent of the money the industry makes. Like that has mm-hmm. nothing to do with streaming services and how poorly they pay the artist. Like you're talking about contracts. Like the the fact right. that you only get twelve percent of a fucking song is That's a your shitty manager, contract, homie. bro. <laughs> like, like, your representation. You're talking about some record label <laughs> bullshit. You know what I mean? That absolutely 100% should be addressed and you should work, you know, to own your masters and 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 have more control over the music that you drop. But that has nothing to do with streaming services and 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 the revenue that you get out of nah, off of streaming. Rumor. It's it's that's the it's, Kanye it's brain. just that's the Kanye. Brain. That is the Kanye. Brain. Brain. I get, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get what he is saying because he he said that, you know, um he was making it seem like he already sold these the STEM players, which he probably did release like some sort of yeah. uh, pre-sale for him. You know, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to buy one, but if you go to the I'm website, not. they're available for um, sale. Yeah. Okay. So he said, I already sold uh, like 2000 of these, which made me, you know, I forgot how much he said, don't quote me on it, obviously. But he said, I sold X amount and, and I already made $2.4 million, which in order for me to do, to make that money with, with uh, a, a record label, I would have had to have sold 220,000 uh, records. And that's, and, and I would have made that prior to everyone else making their money um, there. So I, so he's just saying like, but, he wants to pocket a hundred percent of the, of his, his that just sounds greedy just now. Like, I mean, for sure. I, I but, saw uh, a headline it's a dope earlier. Idea, I, I saw a headline earlier today and I started to read a little bit of the article where it said that he turned down, according to him, a uh, hundred million dollars from Apple. And two, n- nobody knows what exactly, because all he said was, I turned on a hundred million dollar deal from Apple and people um, were speculating that it's, it was a, a, a promotional deal for, for Don the two. Um, that he ended up turning down. Um, and maybe it would have been, um, you know, the Donda 2 plus like a, a Donda 2 documentary or something like that. 
um, uh, for Apple TV Plus. So it might have been like a, a couple of things, but that's a hundred million compared to your little two million dollars. Right. right. I don't know. And I seen another article, uh, and this one I literally only read the headline, which said that uh, Apple killed a, a two million dollar promo deal f- with Kanye, which again is two million dollars. So if you already, you know, what I mean, like you. You That's out here saying that you couldn't make this money, but yet but we're seeing have. stories saying that that money to you. It just like stop yeah. putting yourself in the place of independent artists. It right. really you know just I mean? it really just comes down Kanye, to bro. You can absolutely make all the money you need from all of this shit. You own all the leverage. You're motherfucking Kanye West. That's a big fucking name. You're not fucking. Yeah you know, sincere, the great or whatever, you know what I mean? Some <laughs> just like small independent artist that doesn't have the leverage to those people are getting raped by the, by, by, by the streaming services uh, and, right. and the publishing companies and, and, and the, uh, you know, the, the music industry, those people are getting hurt and, and, and getting low leverage. Um, but, but Kanye, come on, bro. Like, yeah. And then you talk to Big you Sean, and Big money, Sean is saying bro. how he got jerked exactly. on his. Exactly. And matter of fact, you fucking... are the big dog in the room taking away food off the table from people like <laughs> yeah. Big Sean. Right, right. Y'all know how petty I am. I will illegally download all of this content. Oh, for sure. Oh, no, 100%. To it. When I seen this not shit, I was like, it. basically, you mean, you're telling me it's going to be released on torrents then, right? So that's I'll, yeah, d- I'll download yeah, exactly. to get many down copies to a day. Torrent. That's why I don't just care. To, just to delete them. That's why I don't care of the conversation. It's like, all right. I mean, if I really wanted it's it, gonna be if there. I really it's wanted to listen be. to yeah, it, hundred percent, I will get it, and you wouldn't get a dime from that. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I'll make, if I'll just, I really wanted to hear it, but whatever. And and I mean, other than that, all that shit aside, if it were some, <laughs> if it were someone else, you know, who who released something like that. It's a dope little niche to get to make sure you get your money in your pocket. Like whatever, it's I a cool idea. Is there, is there any artist out there for either of you two that they were gonna drop some special shit, two hundred bucks for their stem? That's the only way you're gonna hear it. Any any artist that you're like, okay, not a stem. I'll, I'll, no. I'll, I'll cough it up. Okay, no, but maybe not no, a stem. No, I'm, just I'm not. I'm not some big. other some other streaming service. Says two hundred bucks for this is the only place you'll get it. Like, is I'm there not huge like on music like I, I used so. to be. No, I'm not huge on music like I used to. I don't to think be, there's any you know? content that I'm going to spend $200 on a movie, but, but video you are, game. You like, are not Kanye's. No, I'm just saying any content, music, porn, uh, any of my shit, I can't see myself spending so, $200 on ooh, any of it. I'm going to say some shit. Tar- Tarantino drops a special yeah, movie but you won't even, yes. on this special like, player. I'm not I'm not spending 200 nah, bucks on it. I mean, I get, I I get I what you're saying. Know, for, for, for something on that creative level, you know, where you're getting video content um and and you know a lot of extra uh, or an actual you know exclusive access to a series or something um maybe maybe i would do that, that. Seems, it's it's um, on principle i can't but w- so what i would say is that and, and and i don't personally like if you're asking me if it was me nah probably i can't think of anyone but so um future future guest on the show uh in in the metaverse uh, is my boy uh, Teflon Sega, and and Teflon has this whole fucking like built in fan base that has been following him for years, and they're dedicated. And when and I watch him, uh, and I watch the comments on his shit, um, he's been sing- so he's like an R and B singer, um, and he's. He only exists in the virtual world. Like he's never exposed his physical presence. He originally started as like an anime character and has now transitioned into like a metaverse uh, AR VR character. Um, and, uh, and he has dedicated motherfucking fans. So I can absolutely 100%. I mean, he he started to drop NFTs recently and he sold them shits mm-hmm. out like really quick. So that's what I'm saying. People like, spend money. Yeah. Bro. People so spend I can money. absolutely see him being able to release uh, exclusive music and have people drop 
uh, you know, 100, 200 bucks just to get access to his music because they're dedicated motherfucking fans. Like I said, I literally seen this dude go from like a thousand Instagram followers to over a hundred thousand in just like, you know, 12 to 13 months and shit and just you build know, up a real organic fan base. And those people are to kind of fall back to earlier thing, right? Cultish in a way. Cultish. They're yeah. Cultish, yeah. It, it's, it, they're a hundred percent built in and, and, and dove in. Hopefully we can get Teflon on the show. Maybe we'll jump in the metaverse and, and see my boy and, and, and talk about all of this shit. Cause he's, do, he's been doing a lot of shit in that space, but I could see that, but I, and you know, I, I guess no, I could see, see like it. Taylor see Swift fans doing it too. Um, but me personally, I don't That's think there's anyone personally. I don't think I fuck with, I don't think I fuck with music, movies, anything, uh, enough to try. See, to yeah, you, you guys are tying it. You guys are tying. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get, let me get a thought out. Cause I would just waited that whole time to say this. <laughs> and now y'all trying to interrupt me. Hold on one second. Y'all, y'all keep tying it to the fact that it's Kanye. And that is what that that is what is making I just you said feel Tarantino. That. No, I'm 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 just saying, but uh, but you're still tying it to a person. I stood in line to spend six hundred dollars on a fucking iPhone, right? Because mm. I really wanted that device. Yeah. Um, I've stood in line for sneakers that cost me more than two hundred dollars yeah. because it's <laughs> Xbox, because it's it's a fucking Halo. sneaker. Yeah, for an Xbox, whatever it is, it, it doesn't matter who the person is. It, it it's if, if you are a fan yeah. of something, and That's let's facts. not That's we facts. don't have to tie it to Kanye. We were just uh we we were just um uh uh for for those starter jackets we were thinking like oh the cookies released the starter jacket it was a starter collab mm -hmm. we were like yo i fucking really want that starter jacket <laughs> why because there's a, a nostalgic feel right to the to the old school starter jacket we we talked about it earlier bulls all that stuff we didn't know how much that that jacket was but that jacket could have easily been $200 and you know what we were going to do that day? We were going to spend $200. So I understand the stance on there's no artist that you feel like you would pay $200 for, uh, for a specific, like if it was a CD, uh, or something like that, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing that shit. If I felt like, yo, this is like, if I was that much of a Kanye fan, he has his sneakers retail for Word. above Two hundred dollars. That's facts. Yeah, which oh, they 100%. sell out immediately. They sell out immediately, and they go for resale for three hundred up to five hundred. Some of them are up to a thousand, and people are paying that upsell price because it's a brand now. Yeah, Yeezy is a brand. Um, when it comes to this album, is. Uh, are there going to be millions of people running up? No, no, there is not. But you know what? Two, 2,000 people in this world that really want that STEM player no, and they you're buy right. it. You're right. They're going, he is going to make his two, lot of $2 million dollars. Yeah. It's not no, a lot it's of not. People. It's not, not in, the, in the grand scale of everything. So we we may be in a big group of people that say, no, fuck no, we're not doing that. But the small yeah. group of people that say, I will, that money's going in his fucking pocket. And he's banking. Yeah. Okay. So one thought. You're focusing purely on the money. It's not about the money, bro. I got $200. I got $1,000. Right. I'll drop it on whatever the fuck I want. Correct. But when someone feels like they're going to hold a consumer hostage like that. Okay, flex. That's where I step in. And I say... It's no, not that's it's no, not that, that holding is a ex, consumer that, hostage. That, that is what Kanye is doing. He's saying, if you want this, you spend this two hundred dollars to listen to what I have to offer. For, for There's facts. no other way that like, you can't listen to it unless you do this. Facts. You're putting me in a corner. But and are, saying, if you want to hear this, spend this money. It's not the money, bro. It's the fact that they're doing but the consumer you are not dirty, his, bro. You are Dude, not his. I don't give a fuck. Even you are, people who he is, you know. I'm just saying, you're people. not his market, though. And black people. Are black people his market? Is that what you're saying? No. Like, who's his market? Who's the Kanye no. market? Do you, how, how, did you, do you listen to Kanye? Uh, yes. 
Old Kanye. Old Kanye, exactly. <laughs> His new market. Like, I don't even listen to, to new market. I listen I listen to, to Donda. I listen to Donda because there was a lot of hype about it. And because it was and available. Because like you, yeah, you didn't have because, to buy $200 stem player correct, to listen to it. Correct. However, he is not betting on the people who are just going to listen to it and then, mm, all right, and then never listen to it again. He's just like, yo, if I have 2,000, which he has more than that, if I have 2,000 uh, to 3,000 hardcore fucking fans that are willing to buy it, then buy the stem player, and that is how it... Now, what he is leaving out, and I promise you that, is the fact that this is only exclusive for a week, but he can't say that <laughs> because then nobody's going to buy it because they're going to wait for the fucking week. You know sure. what I'm saying? So I get, I get your stance I mean, that you are like, no, I'm not people, doing but... it. But there are, sure. there are a shit ton of people... That that although that's the stand, they're they are going to pay that shit, and and even if not, For and sure. even if not them, the resellers, the resellers, they are going to buy that shit the fuck out, and then they're going to sell it to these fans for four five hundred dollars. And those are the hey. wild people, you know what I mean? Or even more, it might be even, I don't even know. I'm sure you can find the Donda one stem player, uh, like on uh, uh fucking stock X or Craigslist or, or something, sure. yeah. And and that shit is probably up a thousand dollars because there was only X of a, X amount of them made. So Kanye is not a fucking he's not an idiot. Mm. He he knows he knows marketing. <laughs> he knows marketing. No, he's no, good. he knows he's marketing. Good. Yeah. And and even even all that crazy shit that we see him put his shit online. Oh, it's no t is to no surprise that Kanye fell off of everything and then all of a sudden rose back up. He's having all these fucking rants, all these antics, all these shits. Yeah. And you know what? He has fucking Donda 2 coming out. He has a fucking Netflix uh uh special that that is now coming out weekly, yep. right? None of it doesn't fucking matter what he's in the news for. All you remember is Kanye. Kanye, you could be fucking tired of listening to Kanye Kanye and, and Pete Davidson bullshit because he's just <laughs> ranting about it. But all you hear is Kanye, 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 whether it's positive or negative. Yo, that documentary was dope, though. That documentary was, yo, it, uh, like, I miss the old Kanye <laughs> because, man, th at that time, that's when he was popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like he's he knows what he's fucking doing. And he learned that shit from his fucking, from his ex-wife. <laughs> just one more, one more counterpoint. Yeah, sure. Why? So like 200 bucks, let's say, I know you said it's probably only for a week, a limited time. I'm sure it is. Watch. We'll, 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 we'll revisit that next week to see and if we've all listened to Donda 2. You've been watching the Kanye documentaries. Mm -hmm. Who were his influences when he was growing up? Biggie? Like he, I'm sure he had a bunch of musical influences. Yeah, he had a shit ton of them. What if those artists decided to put their shit up on a high pedestal where it couldn't be purchased and he couldn't fuck with it. Like what if there's people that are fucking with his shit, dudes that maybe can't afford a STEM player, can't afford a fucking Apple music subscription to he's listen not, to his shit. Yeah, fuck those not, people. Yeah, they don't need, you know, they don't people. need, that's garbage. That's trash. Yeah, that's a garbage opinion. People. That's a garbage person to do that. Like, I and mean, that's, that's facts. I don't, I don't, I, I don't put it past, Someone in his uh in, in he's right. he's fucking selling two hundred dollars sneaker now that he's not obviously, struggling anymore. Fuck the fuck obviously the poor people, right? at two hundred dollars two hundred dollars to buy my shit. Fuck, obviously fuck at two hundred dollars a fucking pair of sneakers. He's not worried about the motherfuckers that can't and afford it. That's what's sad, bro. That's what's fucking no. sad. This is it's sick, dude. It's a what's sick sad. money play, dude. Fuck Kanye. What's sad is the motherfuckers who pay the shit any fucking way and give them that sense of entitlement. Nah, he's that, putting them in that can, position. That he's, shit is going to he's starting it, dog. Like that's all him. It's toppling down. That's his decision, and it's fucking everything else up. That's a fucked up. You pay for Amazon. Same fucking shit. This motherfucker is not paying for any. We can we can go down. We can go down every fucking road, bro. We can go down every fucking road. Let's go, uh, bitch. I got time. I'm Let's try down every fucking road. I don't give a fuck. Let's I'm do not it. talking about Kanye. It's about the, there's always people who take it to that next level. And it's not that okay don't for them either. The people. It's not okay. That's <laughs> not okay. I don't give a fuck if it's Kanye. I'm not saying that it it's doesn't okay. Fucking matter. It sounds like you're defending it, dog. 
I'm you not defending his documentary it. I understand and now it. he's all, you know, no, Kanye <laughs> could do this. He's a, he's a genius. He's a G-E-E-N-U-Y-U-S. No, I, my, my stance on this is not necessarily that I understand or that I, that I promote it. We're still it's the little like, people, dog. We're still the little people. We're still the little fucking people, but I'm just saying that there's going to be somebody to pay for it. And when there's somebody and when there's a big group of people that are willing to pay for it, the little people don't fucking matter. Because at the end of the day, money talks to people like like. Anybody who's a fucking billionaire right now. Until I'm a billionaire, I'm still fucking yeah, with you, those little people. And cause. you know what? When, <laughs> when you're a billionaire and and you get to a point where you haven't been, uh, when you haven't been a little person for a very long fucking time, that that shit is like completely. You can't even put your <laughs> mind to 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 the little person that. That'll be a sad day. It'll be a That'll it'll be a, be a completely day. different conversation. It's like, oh yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand. No, yeah. I have a new pair of <laughs> I have a new pair of New Balances that I'm pulling out <laughs> three fifty. <laughs> they even started selling reselling I hate on New Balance. <laughs> I only wear oh, New shit. Balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, Johnny. Next one. You done started some shit. <laughs> you got walk off. You got walk off tight up in here. No, we both we both tight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's uh, keep it moving. <laughs> He's like, why the fuck did I bring that up? Right. <laughs> uh, uh, nah, let's keep it moving on uh, on big oh money God. shit. Big money shit. Uh, so we were... <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. So we've been talking about Kanye and his big money shit. So report yeah. came out. We know, and we've talked many, 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 many times about a boy... JR, JRE, Mr. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan, getting okay. a big All ass right. deal with Le Spotify. Um, and, and, and Spotify all the, for, yeah, layman's. For, for the layman's, <laughs> layman's terms. Um, <laughs> Le Spotify. <laughs> Le Spotify. Le Spotify. He's, make, he's making my promo edits <laughs> way harder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so so um, you know we we've talked previously about Joe Rogan getting a big ass deal with Spotify um, supposedly last year, and we knew at the time that it was a hundred million dollar deal, but a it was they said years. it was a a hundred million dollar plus deal over three years, yeah. and now the New York Times reporting a shit ton, they saying this deal is actually. A two hundred million dollar deal, damn! Double so what we previously that's knew. That's, that's a Spotify lot of motherfucking money. Down. That is yeah. exactly why Spotify is like, nah. He's uh, cool. He's cool. He's cool. <laughs> yeah. We'll get by. <laughs> yeah. Free speech, man. Right. Let right, it right, go. Right. We all and knew what we were some episodes. Into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's crazy i thought it was uh i thought it was a hundred million a year for uh three years. A, a, for three years no no so previously it was it was it was just reported that spotify was going to pay him at least a hundred million dollars to exclusively host the show um over a three and a half year contract i think it was three and a half years um but now it is uh like i said according to the new york times they're they're saying it's actually 200 million dollars mm. so it's like when a quarterback signs a big contract for you know 500 million dollars it's spread over the course of so many seasons so he's just they're they're breaking it up yeah at that point so it's three and a half years 200 million i mean it's still more that he was he was supposedly what doing like 70 million a year or 60 million a year prior to the spotify deal I don't know yeah, if you remember. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. So now he's going to well, be getting just, like... Just off of ads, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah just from, from ad promotions. And and I don't know how that shit works now that he's, you know, uh, um, uh, exclusively I don't think Spotify. he does promos. I, don't, I haven't actually... Honestly, since he moved over exclusively, I haven't heard a, a full episode yet. Because uh, I, uh, I don't actually, have Spotify, no, so I, I don't... I, can't I have... <laughs> I have, and it is weird because... 
before he would do a bunch of ads because I remember yeah. skipping all of them shits. Oh, right. all the time. Yeah, yeah. all the yeah. fucking time. <laughs> that was brutal. He would do a bunch of <laughs> fucking ads. And then in the middle of the episode, he would do a bunch more ads. Yep. yep. Um, Pre rolls, mid rolls, so, post rolls. He had all of them. Yep, yeah. post rolls, all of that shit. Got your um, quip toothbrush. <laughs> now, do. now he does do. do some, some, uh, some, some ads in the beginning. And it's even worse because you, you can't fucking skip them because it's because it's like not a part of the show. Yeah, it's 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 like a, a Spotify ad. added yeah. ad uh, um, in the beginning, so you can't skip it. And if you do, if you do skip worst. it, it's another ad just comes, and then you're in an endless loop uh, of ads fuck. until you fucking actually so you just listen. Let to it them. go. You're like, fuck. yeah. So you have to listen to them. Um, and this is I, I haven't listened in in, in a while, so. But um, there's still some ads, but once you get past the first group of ads, I guess the rest are skipped. Yeah, the rest is just it, it, you just get through the episode, uh, or there, he doesn't like read off any kind of ads. It's just the ones that Spotify throw in there Damn. with him reading them. So, so they're I don't know if that's yeah they, they're they throw yeah. In the, okay yeah yep yep it's yep. like a YouTube ad where you're not I mean yeah. it'll let you skip it and if you can't you're fucking watching it regardless two yeah. two fifteen second fucking ads bro that's the worst yep yeah oh, and, it's, that yeah. and thirty except, seconds thirty except seconds except and I, I don't die. even know what you're talking except about bro. these go for a few <laughs> <laughs> these shits go for like minutes. Johnny's like that sounds like broke to me I can't hear that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> No, nah, I, I, I I need Talk to stop flex. paying for that. Talk about a flex. Well, I pay premium. I do pay premium. Yeah, I do pay premium for. But you had a good reason though. Like when you explained it for the, like the gym there, like that makes sense, bro. You're not going to put your exactly down to fucking yeah. skip exactly. the ad like that. I get that for sure. Yeah. That shit is the worst when you're like in the middle of a workout. Like you know you're what's like funny though, putting shit up and then all of a sudden, right. Welcome to Wegmans.com. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. That's the worst. Yeah, that's the worst. You know what's funny though is my um I pay for it, right? And that's a that's a thing for me, right? <laughs> but at home, um, if we are like on my Apple TV or You're the TV in my room or something, <laughs> guess guest accounts. They're not they're not doing <laughs> they, Yo, that's word, grimy. Though, that's grimy. No, no. They're not fucking up my curated recommendations, bro. <laughs> Yo, no. word. That shit happened nah, to nah, me. Nah, my nah, father-in-law man. came over one time. That's and facts. I didn't know that the guest account thing was a thing. Uh, an option and my fucking father I mean I love the guy <laughs> he comes that, over yeah. and he starts watching yeah. mad shit fucked my recommendations up for at least two weeks I was like mm. god damn I don't watch yep. none of this shit what mm -hmm. the hell is all this shit keep coming up <laughs> bro my kids my, my, my oh, son yeah. my imagine. son is big on YouTube hell right yeah. now oh my god and I all he, he, he watches oh he watches god. the most random shit yeah. where it's like uh, kids playing with toys, uh, <laughs> kids role playing, like doing all these yeah. storylines, like right. that would have my shit all fucked up. Not only that, you have YouTube but, reaching out to the authorities, like, "Yo, why is my man Joaquin watching all these little <laughs> kid shows?" It's either that, or I'm exposing him to uh, to like the hot, uh, ones hot ones. And shit. <laughs> and, 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 Daddy, you know? I want hot wings. <laughs> okay, buddy, that's here you right. go. That's so, all right. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, that's not nah. that. They they could deal with commercials. Plus, I think it's it, it builds characters. Uh, for it builds character for my kids to have to watch commercials. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Uh, the only the only time where it bites me in the ass is that when he watches those, we get those uh the toy commercials, mm. and then he's and he like, "Daddy, I want shit. this he's toy. Shit, I yeah. really want this toy." And I'm like, I I even got to the point where I'm just like, "All right, son. Yep, you can have that." And and he doesn't he, he doesn't remember it. yeah because yeah, yeah. he says That's that shit dope. about every fucking toy that like, comes all out. right all right next hmm. time I go to the store he's gonna call yeah he's gonna call <laughs> my bluff up, though dude. soon One I day can feel that shit as soon he's gonna start remembering shit and be like yo you said I could cop this right he'll be like, he'll be six this year so he'll he'll definitely yeah, he's, some he's, point this year he's gonna be like yo dad uh, remember when you told me I could have that it was right there at Target. It's one hundred and sixty dollars. What's up? That's a valid point though because like if if Ash wants to watch something wild. No. I'm like, yo, yeah. we're going in your profile, whether it's Hulu, Netflix, YouTube. Yep. Like, I'm like, yeah, this isn't gonna be. No. This isn't gonna be under my profile. No. Fuck my shit up. I'm not paying. I'm, like, oh. I'm on the. I'm on the opposite end of that, where I'm not paying for this, <laughs> so that you could fuck my shit up. Right. <laughs> I just know my HBO Max would be like, oh, you watched Euphoria. 
here's a bunch of bitch ass shit you can watch now that you liked Euphoria. <laughs> yeah. I'm no. sorry. No, that's no offense to, I know you fuck with a few for <laughs> No, but, but see like HBO max isn't, isn't that crazy. Cause they don't give you recommendations like that. It's, it's just like a list. <laughs> <laughs> of shit that you could choose yeah. from or you can search for so something. Like, this is what we got. But you want to fuck with it or not? Nah? But Netflix, we have our own, like, yeah. don't search for the kid shit under mine. Like, it's okay. You want to mix yours? That's that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But my shit, like, don't don't search for anything under my name. <laughs> <laughs> my mom has an account under my Netflix, and I, 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 and I made her one. I'm like, mom, don't deviate from your account. <laughs> this is your Use name. This. You use this one. <laughs> And I can always tell when she does deviate because then I'll, I'll have a cartoon that just pops up in my fucking <laughs> room. Mom watches shit. cartoons? Uh, when the kids are over. Oh, gotcha. Grandkids gotcha, gotcha. are okay. over. That makes sense. Uh, whether it's my kids or my nephews or whatever. I feel yeah. Like. True that. Is that, uh, do we have any more news stories? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yo. Sorry. Dude. No, 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 no. I was just, I was just going to say, uh, <laughs> Uh, remember the dude I was telling you that uh, he, he reaches out and he tells me like all he sends all kind of shit. Yeah, a I did end up, dude. Yeah, yeah, I did end up saying like, "Yo, that's crazy if it were real." He said, "Well, the shit is real. The shit is it's an electrical <laughs> energy pulse of some kind." Uh, <laughs> Wait, was this the dragon? <laughs> this is the dragon. <laughs> oh the dragon God. that came out. The Jap Chinese dragon, Japanese dragon, wherever. Yeah, Japanese. Yeah, in China, there's uh, there's reports of a dragon that was. Uh, you know, it was first recorded uh, you know, above the mountains. And then now uh, there's footage of it, like literally burnt, like shooting fire through like a building. Burning it oh like a fire. Yeah, no, it's, it's, oh, it's currently, damn. it's, yeah, no, this is and it's breaking and it's real. stuff. We should probably cover this right and it's now. Real. It should be, it's real. It's part of the Olympic uh, celebration, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Those snowboarders. Yeah, yes. those snowboarders. It's, uh, oh. it's actually our boy, Sean White. He's oh, he the is dragon the dragon on the with mountains. the red hair. Yeah, That's the, baby. yeah I get it. Okay, said, Sean, we okay. see. You. It's an electrical energy pulse of some kind, and reason it's completely visible is because of the rain. My man needs to get cut off right now. Yeah, <laughs> done. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's just funny. We're down that's to just funny. 1,599 uh, followers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just hilarious. Con uh, conspiracy. Oh, 100%. Theory. 100%. Yeah. Um, so uh, something that no one asked for is apparently happening today, uh, the 21st of February. Um, uh, all, hopefully, um, it causes all of the fucking people on the regular social networks to fucking leave. That we don't like. Oh, oh! I know what you're talking about. Uh, I know where this is going. Trump's social app, Truth, Truth, all yeah, caps, <laughs> Truth. <laughs> uh, so the the app. I, I don't know if the website was already available, but now the app is launching on the uh, uh, on the app stores, Google and uh, and iOS. Um, hmm. So um, I mean. It's uh, the last I saw earlier this afternoon. It was the number one app um, uh, downloaded, the most popular app um, for the day, at least. Uh, and uh, and hopefully it just causes all those people that I want to ignore on Twitter and Facebook to uh, to just go into their own fucking circle. And uh, elsewhere, yeah, like yeah, it's probably a bad thing for them, but and it's probably a bad thing for. Us too <laughs> for everyone. It's a bad thing yeah. for everybody. There's yeah. no good is going to come no, out of this. Yeah. But, <laughs> I was but say, at the same time, well, like honestly, let's bro. be real. Like, do you think that? I mean, I, I get it that you know uh, the idea of people being in their own vacuum circle just allows them to consistently, you know, build up more and more and more of their own. That's theories. how the Third Reich grew. But at the same yes. time, like, do also, you think that any of them are being convinced? Otherwise, when they're on these open networks, I, mean, I don't think so. Didn't they storm the Capitol in the same fashion? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like nobody, I, I do recall that nobody's getting. You know, uh, you're not talking to anyone on uh, Twitter or Facebook and convincing them that they're wrong about their thoughts, right? So, like, right. I don't think that it's as detrimental as we might think about. You know, because they're they're already I mean, the on only, their own Reddit sub, you know, subreddits and 
yeah. uh, on their uh, 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 4chan threads and, and shit like that. Like, <laughs> is it really is it really that much of a difference other than the fact that now uh, Donald is getting paid? Yeah. Um, I don't know. There, 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 there could be, I mean, the pros are definitely that, that, uh, and I don't think it's really going to alleviate it from us at all. Cause they're nah. people, people that are like that are just nah. like the guy that's trying to shit from that and post it on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, well that, that, and uh, you know, they, they, they just like the same guy that, that keeps DMing, you know, me the same shit, whether I respond or not. Yeah. It's, they just feel like it's their, it's their right to to let everyone know about yeah. this. Not only their right, their duty. Yeah, their yes. duty. Their duty. duty. There's There's responsibility a duty to, it. to yes. do it. Like it's a God given. Yeah, and this like, is why you're placed on this earth. Right, and I, so the 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 I don't think it's going to alleviate anything from us. We're not we're not going to see less people on I'm social. Gonna, I'm going to make an account for that, and I will. Troll the fuck out of oh, everybody on that site. For the I, I will for screenshot. I, I will get it. people to rage. Blazer Ramon. I will, I will go in. At Blazer I will Ramon go in. on truth. At, at Blazer Ramon. Blazer underscore Ramon is probably what I'm going to go for. So yeah, check yeah, me yeah. out on the uh, on the the truth social because I will Ooh. I will 100 percent follow every yeah. one of those this. motherfuckers. Let's do, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do this something. This is list launch today. I when they I get home today, tonight, yeah, bro, yeah. my. My there was like a up. waiting it, it list was... last I saw uh, to get mm. in. Uh, Hopefully, I can get on. But I yeah, mean, let's it was highlight. Let's hi- not like let's millions of people highlight. or anything. It was like some thousands of folks. Yeah. Sure, sure. We got a little highlight. Dell server it. probably to host this <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> some R six forty. Right. All right. Last last story. Speaking of duty. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, um, More shit talk. where we usually record is, um, <laughs> two, two, 22, AKA the national duty day, AKA the poop day, the number two uh, day. Yeah. Number <laughs> two had day. The poop conversation shit. this week. <laughs> Fuck. And so, um, Damn. today, um, actually there's, uh, an app being launched by, uh, the Crohn's disease uh, uh, association f- foundation. There you go. Crohn's <laughs> and colitis okay. foundation. Uh, they launched an app that I fucking love because you know, we all need this shit. I think <laughs> it's called it's the gonna we track your wait. poops. Nah, <laughs> we can't. Wait. I know I poop multiple times a day. <laughs> I know I poop multiple him. times a He's day. He's like, I really love this. I it's really, really gonna help. Me. I really do. Um, it's really gonna help me track this. Uh, Consistency. I, I, don't, I, the size. I don't have Crohn's or colitis, by the way. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I hope that never happens. Uh, right. But no, Not the We work. Can't Wait app uh, launched because uh, you know sometimes you can't wait. Um, apparently this, uh, uh, no beef to people with Crohn's or colitis or, or IBS <laughs> or anything like that. Cancel. They, they got like an, an actual card. If you join like their membership shit, they'll send you a card that you could, it's kind of like the Joker card you hand it to people. It's like, this is why I need immediate access to the bathroom. It's cause I got this, okay. I got this fucking health condition. So anyways, the, uh, um, and that's called the, I can't wait card, but the, we can't wait app. Um, basically gives you access to, uh, or at least it shows you a map of public Free toilets, fucking restrooms. Like open. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I That's remember dope. Charmin used to have an app um, really? that was this uh, and I, similar idea, but then they stopped updating it, and then it actually mm. went away. Um, like, they just didn't maintain it. This was, like, in the early iPhone days, which... Yeah, like the three G days. Which, by the way, if if you're if you still own own a very old ass iPhone uh, or Android, <laughs> rock that. Three uh, G networks are being shut down this week by AT and T. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's a that's another thing just to keep in mind if your grandma still uh, got an old ass phone. Uh, make sure if you she ever updates talk to the four G. <laughs> Or you if you want. don't want to talk to her again, <laughs> don't t- tell don't her tell to her. update her. Don't shit. tell her. <laughs> so. I have a question. This made me think of it. 
specifically for you, Dave. Oh, shit. No, no, okay. for, for any one of us, honestly. Um, have you ever been in a handicap stall <laughs> <laughs> and have someone in a wheelchair roll up? <laughs> Actually, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> elaborate, uh, I was please. In a, so it it was just uh, I was on a, a break from work and I went to this very well known, Be- uh, very posh, very posh upscale restroom where mm. I feel comfortable because I just won't I won't shit on any old yeah, public yeah, yeah. No, toilet. Course, like to be. this was a this was a classy establishment and there. Bathroom smelled of scented vanillas. Oh, it was, it was the best. It was, it was delicious. Best. It was, it was, it was a great. Like a wood burning scent. Yeah. Very, oh, yeah. No, bro, was, you go in there. You go in there. There's never because I, I used to use the same bathroom on our on the breaks. You know, <laughs> if you make it all the way over there, uh, you go in there. It's nice. Uh, like elevator music playing. It's a different world. No, it's just it's just elevator music playing. It's always so bright. Beautiful. Rarely ever do you see someone else. If you do, if you see someone yeah. else, they're like walking out. Yeah, like you, just, you know what I mean. Like empty, it was just low key. Yeah, yeah music and uh, the and and I don't even blame you because the the handicap stall has its own sink. sink. There is Ooh, a sink in there. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. like when the so like there's stall has its own sink. <laughs> lots, yeah. of, lots so of room. You know, yeah. it's, you know it's possible when that happens. I love 100%. it when, when that happens. Yeah, but in this, <laughs> is it, is this it is it the a, only uh, time when I've ever heard all the way to the this. floor, all the way to the floor door. Yes. It, yep. It, it, it is. No, there was there was a partial gap because like I could I remember seeing the the actual wheelchair oh, okay, okay. Oh, roll oh, up. Shit. This really happened. <laughs> so yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm I'm using <laughs> I'm yes. using this handicap stall <laughs> and uh, I, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm doing my business. The accessible and, you know, no, stall. No accessible big deal. Stall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Access has got the bar there yeah. and there's, there's just lots of room in there. It's a very, oh, spacious, it's very spacious, comfortable comfortable area uh and i see these you know the door opens and i'm like all right you know a lot of people don't use this bathroom so it's it's rare that somebody does and i you know i'm doing my thing and all of a sudden i i see these wheels roll up <laughs> under you know under the door like so Yo. clearly there's a there's oh some a gentleman in in a wheelchair who is outside of the bathroom and he stops there for a good 15 20 seconds that, that felt it felt like it felt like an hour like he just stopped there and he's like i'm gonna stay here until you come out of here and i you know i obviously i panicked that had never happened before i always took my chances going into that bathroom and it wasn't like the bathroom was full this was the only stall available i had to go in there if i wanted to go on my break from work uh no the bathroom was fucking empty and i made a conscious decision to choose the handicap stall though i am able bodied i am not handicapped and i see the wheels and I, obviously i freeze up i feel like an asshole instantly i'm like oh my god this guy he has to go to the bathroom and he needs to use this bathroom. And here I am mid shit taking my fucking time. And I'm like, all right, well, there's no way I'm walking out of this stall to let this dude see me. How like, long did I he can't, wait? Dude, I, so I finished shitting. I washed my hands. I literally he stood was there the in the time. stall. I, no, no, he, he left. He, he was there for about, okay, okay. he was about 30 seconds, what felt like an hour, but he wasn't there for long. But, Enough that I was like, oh, fuck. He, he, you know, I see the wheels go, door opens, he's gone. And I'm thinking, oh, he's waiting outside of the bathroom for me to finish so he can roll back in there, do his thing. And so I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't want him to see me. I don't want him to know that I'm not handicapped. And so, and then, and then I'm, I'm reasoning (laughs) with myself. I'm like, I'm like, handicap doesn't have to be visible. You can be handicapped and not visibly be in a wheelchair <laughs> or on crutches. I'm like, True. is there, you know. Oh, you can. You yeah. fake the disability. I, I, I'm just thinking. No, no, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm not no, just no, thinking. No, 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 I did not. I, I thought about it momentarily. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. I thought about, should I limp? Should I like? Is, do I have a broken ankle? Like any any sort of handicap, and that was not that was not okay. Thoughts though, these are legit. These are, thoughts. This is what's running through my head yeah. as I'm in there, and I I'm you right, know, I wash right, my hands, right. and I'm I'm standing there on my phone at one point, <laughs> and I remember like coughing and making noise to see if like anybody else was in there making noise. Yeah. Nobody was there. <laughs> 
and I'm like, all right, Dave, the, the right move is to not limp out of the stall, bro. Just walk out, oh hold your head up high. If someone's there, man up and say, listen, I'm sorry I was in your stall. I fucked up. Like, I was, I was fully prepared to talk to this guy and apologize and, you know, just, just do the right thing. Because mm-hmm. I, I felt Such bad. Nice I, I, re- I really did feel yeah. like an asshole. Because that had never happened before. I had used this stall countless times. Wasn't a big deal. So I get the balls. I gather myself. I walk out of the stall. No one's in the bathroom still. I'm like, oh, great, cool. And then I walk out of the bathroom into this store because it, it, the bathroom was <laughs> in a store uh, in, in, in the mall. And, uh, you know, I, I instantly the do, the, looking at I do the, I do the 180 gaze just like around to see if there's, do I see anybody with any visible <laughs> handicaps? Is there, a, I'm specifically looking for a wheelchair because I saw yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. the wheels roll up and there was not okay. luckily you avoided my that. soul lucked out. I didn't have to like apologize, which like I said, I would have, cause I felt bad and I just fucking fast walked out of the store. I already know. Got on with my day. Like I already know how it would have gone on with me. I would yeah, I would have gone through the same thoughts like, "Oh shit." Like it, like what do I do from this point? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I would have thought the same exact thing. Sure. Um but if 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 in fact he was still in the bathroom when I walked out, you at least thought like, yo, I'm going to apologize. I would have awkwardly not looked at him and just <laughs> booked from the booked for the fucking door and just kept it moving. Dog. It wouldn't have like, been super right. heartfelt. I wouldn't have stopped and talked to, you know, like I would have been like, I'm oh so sorry. God. And I just would have kept fucking walking like that. That would have been the extent of it. Like I know I fucked up and, and I was fully ready. I had that conversation in my head multiple times as I was oh, walking out um, oh, and I locked so. up. And honestly, I have not used a handicap stall since. That because that I mean, really, yeah, that that really <laughs> fucked me up, yeah. and and I and I learned a lesson. I learned a valuable lesson that day. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo, it is ne- that has never happened to me, dude. Thank God, it's, it's <laughs> happened to me. It has happened to me to where uh, I use the family room, and it's just me. Nah. And, okay. and then like a woman and her kids, the kids freaking out and she has like a couple of them and, and the, you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. and it's, it's not as bad because obviously, you know, they're, they're able bodied, but it's still like, you feel like a jackass You're, too. It's you've just inconvenienced like, someone for sure. sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and being a, being a dad where I've been with multiple right. kids and need it's a family just room and I need that family room and I have to wait for it. Yeah. And then you have to walk it and then some dipshit comes out yeah. and, and regular, doesn't say anything. Just old person. Yeah. Just, no. just like completely ignores that you were there. And then, and then you have to fucking change a diaper and all this shit in a, in a shit stank. <laughs> fucking shit smelling <laughs> fucking family room like, <laughs> because nobody goes in there to take a piss you take right. a piss like whatever <laughs> yeah. you know nobody's you gonna shit do that when you go in the family oh room. yeah in the family room or in the fucking the nice spacious <laughs> yeah, stall the nice spacious handicap stall absolutely you're not going in there to piss there's urinals i could piss anywhere <laughs> yeah. all right man is that is that all we have for news and then we wonder why our episodes take so long. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Uh, all right, cool. So you know what that means. Hollywood. 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 Hollywood is the segment where we talk about shit that's going on in Hollywood and little news updates. Uh, self-explanatory. Yeah, very, very self-explanatory <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my opinion. Um. All right, so first thing is that uh, Kevin Feige comes out and he says that that uh, Endgame is the final Avengers movie, which I automatically assumed, but people are like bent right. out of shape about it. Well, I mean, we're gonna get lots of dope movies. They just won't be called Avengers. Like it's not I mean, the end we, of the fucking world. We right? might get the Young Avengers or some some form yeah, of sure. it, yes. but it's not gonna be Avengers. Avengers. Right, like, we're not gonna Aven- see yeah. Thor and. Tony and every like it's not going to be like we know Avengers movies and like when that phase ended I just assumed right oh okay so the Avengers phase that's done I mean yep. what what do we have next like I yeah I, I loved the Avengers movies don't get me wrong seeing them all together that was magical bro mm-hmm. when that shit was popping off but like I I assumed that when that ended like that was the end of the Avengers and yeah like, now, now and we have 
other dope shit. Well, like, and now hearing um, where Phase Four has been going, it right. just seems like a lot of the movies are mashups between multiple characters. Sure, they're just not. Um, they're not using the word Avengers in the like. That's not. That right. seems like that's semantics to me. Like, oh, it's not called Avengers, but all your favorite people are going to team up in a dope ass movie. So it's basically Avengers. Yeah. Like, we may not, we, we may not see basically. like all of them together right. until like Ant-Man quantum mania. Sure. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are just going to be either in their own movies. You may see one or two in, in other, but yeah, we're not just getting, we're just no longer getting right. a when, new Avengers movie. When I was watching no way home, mm -hmm. I was not thinking, damn, this should be an Avengers movie. Like we have, <laughs> we were past that. Like that's like an ex-girlfriend. Like, yeah, it was good at the time. That was awesome. But like I've evolved. I'm, I'm different. Like yeah. that doesn't matter okay, anymore Dave. to me. So like, I'm, I'm cool with that. I know Dave is feeling spicy today. Right. I love it. You got me hot with that Kanye shit. So <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> We're not going to go back to that. We're not going to go back to that. <laughs> um, uh, in, in, in dope news, it looks like Peacemaker, which is not a surprise to me, mm -hmm. uh, but Peacemaker has been renewed for season two. Yes. With uh, James Gunn writing and directing every episode. Ooh, again. And a special shout out to James mm -hmm. Gunn and Jennifer Holland for getting engaged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't Fuck feel them. very heartfelt there, Dave. <laughs> I'm not heartfelt at all. <laughs> Fuck you, James Gunn. Oh, I love her. Everything is, he wants. She, she is so fucking hot, though. No, but for real, that was that was dope. I mean... I feel like that's kind of dick though. Like you're directing this chick and she like, she's there all the time. Like you're taking advantage of the acting, right? Like oh, that's not. Were, okay. Maybe they were dating <laughs> yeah. beforehand. No, 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 no. I'm just fucking around. That's, that's crazy. I don't know. Their yeah, situation. I don't, I don't, I don't I know the no extent idea of that they were even together. So that was, actually I didn't either until same. he, he posted a picture of her. I don't know if you saw it on Twitter, saw, drinking yeah. the cup of coffee yep. with the big, I didn't notice the big ass ring. I saw that picture same. for like a day or two. Same. And then I realized I was like, wow, why does this picture have 67,000 likes on it? And I was like, oh, that's an engagement ring the size of a fucking ring pop. Yeah, that shit is <laughs> yeah, no joke. Right. <laughs> that was no that joke was at all, bro. That, crazy. That, that was fucking, that was DC, Guardians of the Disney. Galaxy money there. You got that that wasn't Brothers Disney. Yeah, that was Disney <laughs> money. Yeah, that was yeah, the Disney true. money for sure. Fucking guy. <laughs> boss, know, um, the, nerve of these, the nerve of these guys. Do you want to get on this canceling this fucking, campaign again? The, this fucking, the Peacemaker <laughs> show that tweets. he dropped was like straight up like, some shit that he just whipped up. Just whipped up? Yep. He was just like, you know what? I think I think I'm just gonna write eight episodes real quick and see what happens. Yeah. He literally so, wrote all eight episodes. Every single episode written by James Gunn. He Nobody said he wrote else. that during yep. the pandemic, right? Yeah. When everything during yeah. the motherfucking he was pandemic. just bored during he the pandemic. He bored. Shit to do. Just whipped it up. And he yep. killed it. And he fucking that was just destroyed on it. a whim. It doesn't he killed say, it on a there's whim. There's no James bro. Gunn and no, it's just my boy. Yeah, written and directed yep. Quentin Tarantino Killed style, it. all James Gunn. He didn't. I don't mm -hmm. think he directed every episode, um, but he definitely directed a couple of them. But he wrote every yeah. episode, and I, uh, I did see that he definitely uh, uh, did the last episode. Yeah, um, it, it, it was again. within a couple months, but my guy, he's, yeah, he's, he's a, I he's mean, a now fucking he's nerd. It's great. Beast. It was great. Nerd be great. Uh, season. Not only did he kill it, like me personally, he made me care about a character that I didn't think I would give a fuck about. Like <laughs> yeah. peace, when we yeah. watched Suicide Squad and you saw Peacemaker, like, yeah, John was Cena funny. was funny, was but funny like when they said they were the coming Suicide off with Squad. a show about him, a, mm -hmm. specifically a Peacemaker show, I was like, oh, what? great, more DC Why? trash. Like, what are we doing? And then it completely blew me away mm -hmm. when I started watching it. The, just the, how dark it was. It was funny. It was fucking, you know what? Awesome. Like it was everything that I didn't know that I wanted that in like a Suicide DC Squad show. Was. It, well, yeah, you absolutely. Kept that same, that same vibe, vibe the yeah. same. Yeah, absolutely. Um, James Gunn is, is he's a come special, to my, he's a special well, dude. Like well, there's no other way around it. Like, the dude has a talent. It's come to my, uh, it, like I realized with James Gunn and the projects that he has made me fall in love with that I had no recollection. Cause even with guardians of the galaxy, right? The original one, I had no fucking clue what Facts. that was about. Facts. Um, 
what he is incredibly good at is character development. He he really does groups of characters, groups he has of that, characters, that group and, mentality, and just the, suicide the way that Guardians. he writes these characters is really what makes you fall like enjoy these movies. Mm. Because even with Suicide Squad, he threw up, he threw in a bunch of different like new characters, mm-hmm. and you cared about you cared about fucking King Shark, King Shark. You know what I mean? This is like. Yeah. You cared about and Says and five and, wo- English words, and you're like, oh my god, I hope nothing happens to that dude because I love him, right? Yeah. But that, but that's where uh, James. Obviously, the storylines are are dope and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But really, where he shines is he he's very good at character development and making you feel for these characters, yeah. and that carries the story a very long way. Because if you don't give a shit about these random ass characters, you can give a fuck about what's what what they're fighting for or anything like that. Exactly. Um, who was, uh, who I, f- I forgot his name. The, the, his homeboy, the one, the, 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 the uh, assassin dude, vigilante. Yeah. Vigilante. Yeah. Oh my fucking God. Dude, dude, that, the that dude, dude is, is, he's so funny. He's, he's fucking great. He yo, <laughs> yo, the is best. Vi- is, and he's is, British. Is he? We, is we he talked make? about that, oh, that he's, oh, he's British. That. He was in the Harry Potter movies, bro. Whoa. Like he's, He's a serious British actor, and that American accent that Vigilante was putting on, fuck these. I would have bet my entire I, my entire worth that like that was an American dude from like Ohio or I some shit. Like, where yeah. they make that it dude seem like our accent is so, so funny fucking easy. And that's what I said, bro. Like when I, I as I sent that to the group chat, I was like, did you guys know? Because I was just some random late night like Wikipedia imdb holes that i was getting in and i ended up on his shit dude and he is like a classically trained british actor <laughs> born wow. in london or some shit bro and and that's, his accent is i mean that's i feel like impressive. i went to school with that dude like yeah he, that's he, impressive. Just, he i i told Locke there was one of the one of the McAllister brothers in the original home alone in the second Home Alone, he looks exactly like Vigilante. I don't remember what, which brother it was. He doesn't have a lot of lines, but like you were like, yo, he does. Yeah, he, he looks look, like him. He looks just like an American dude. Like Vi- I think Vigilante, as much as Cena and Harcourt, all those people stole. So so upset about Vigilante that now. for me was so fucking funny, so yeah. dark, oh, so great. oblivious. Like, oh, well, my man, boy was, was a straight it, up mass murderer. A killer dog, <laughs> yeah. a, a Mass fucking murderer psycho, fucking bro. Like, <laughs> like jokes. Di- didn't give a f- yeah. Like yeah. I would be, I would be homies with vigilante. <laughs> like yo, even yeah, with the with the light, a- with such a light hearted uh, yeah. way about him. Yeah. Yeah. Like how can approach. you be a mass? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude. Just straight up normal conversations. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's, Just saw what's the light up? on. What's yeah. up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, he's a wild good. dude, man. And he's got mad oh, rules, dude. and all yeah. those rules are like fucking weirdly applied. And oh man, his character was fucking awesome. Did you guys watch the uh, the gag reel? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> he had some funny ass gag reel shit in there, but like just that that gag reel. At, you know, I love, as a whole was, was I love really, that really I funny, love yeah. that that's one of the things um that I love most about um when they when they release a gag reel I love that shit because it's like they're human like yeah, they yeah. laugh they're fun like you know like they fuck they, up. they break like <laughs> yeah, they yeah. forget their lines like what's my fucking line I'm stu- we we think they're these perfect you know actors and we put them on this pedestal and they're just you know they're they're people like we are so like, gag reels always sort of Bring, bring it down to down. earth a little yeah. bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. And yeah, I, I fucking love I, it. I really love those. Any show, any movie. Like, at the movies, like, they don't do that anymore so much. But, like, mm-hmm. at the end of a lot of movies, they would do. Yeah, like, those were always real, fun. Like, mm-hmm. uh, those were always great to see, especially if it was, like, a, you know, semi-serious movie. Right, when you right. see them fucking up, bro, I, I always uh, I always loved it. Like, Rush Hour. I feel like Rush Hour always oh, did those a funny-ass yeah, gag yeah, yeah. at the end. Fucking oh, always um, Jackie Chan's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, stunts, that's true. That's true. All of his shit, jumping into ladders and shit. Yeah, right. those no, are always a good time. But for those of you who have not uh, seen Peacemaker on HBO Max, I highly give, recommend give it. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. It's, it's a lot of funny shit. It's a dope story. Yeah, very funny. It is John Cena. Um, <laughs> it's he crushed some it. wild shit. You do not. You do he not really even. Uh, you wouldn't even expect. Yeah. So he definitely crushed it. 
And we were going to save that for the wrap up, but. No, that's do you good. have any other thoughts on that? Yeah, <laughs> it, was, yeah. No, it was just great. It was just great. It was. Yeah. It was. I mean, really we didn't good. want to spoil or anything. No, yeah, mm-hmm. I definitely didn't want to do like a, a a spoiler segment or anything on it. I was just, I I thought you know overall the whole the whole season was a really good fucking worth show. worth mentioning. Yeah, definitely worth mentioning. If you haven't seen a uh, uh, Peacemaker yet on HBO Max, check it the fuck out. Like it, it's really well done. The acting is well done. The story overall, I thought, you know, as we've spoken about, right? Like James Gunn is killing it, and and the story was really great throughout. Um, and um, and and even that final ending, uh, and how it all worked <laughs> yeah. out, like that that whole, mm-hmm. you know, that last episode, uh, yeah. it was pretty kill. It was pretty kill, and it and it and it was satisfactory and. Now that I know that it's coming uh, season two, I'm like, hell yeah. I'm fucking down hell for yeah. it. Like, yeah, give, yeah. Me, give me some more Definitely. of this I'm story. I'm excited. Yep. And, and as we've said many, 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 many times on this show, DC should lean in more to that TVMA rated yeah, R TVMA rated dark R, content. Shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little, you know, this makes me even... Um, a little bit more upset that the Batman is not rated R. But even though what we've seen, I th- I think they're still leaning leaning into the right areas. Um, but j- they just need Slowly. to keep continuing to you know don't don't worry about being the family film. That's fine. Right. Yeah, you leave that to Marvel. Leave Marvel's that, got yeah. that covered, right? Like don't. But even, it's not like, like it's you're there. gonna go broke. Doing right, this yeah. hardcore filmmaking, you know what I mean? Mm-mm. You got plenty of stories, plenty of characters, plenty of storylines that you could, you know, fucking dig deep, make adult, and make a shit ton of money. You can make money from the adult market, the eighteen to twenty-four. I mean, that's 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 where the money comes from, right? Yeah. Like reg- even the the kids, like the money comes from those adults, regardless. Those kids Facts. aren't going to the theater, right? Like, yeah, hundred percent, absolutely. Um, speaking of that, speaking of DC, I wanted to ask you: Did you see the costume for um, Michael Keaton's Batman from Batgirl? Yes, I did. Wasn't there? A, it was a stunt guy in the costume. It was though, a stunt right? guy in the yeah, costume. I but was, people, yeah. people are like trying to say that that is my I, I not, didn't no, not, doesn't I, look like, like a stunt dude yeah I, I didn't think the costume was bad I just thought the dude in the costume looked stupid I so thought like, the that's costume why I was happy stupid. that it was a I thought the costume it didn't look horrible like yeah. it didn't look like completely it didn't have nipples like Val Kilmer so no, I no, was no, pretty no. pumped about that Yeah no but but um if you see, like, it didn't look very complex. What it, re- what really, what it looked, and like specifically, it looked like a one piece, like rubber slip on suit. Yeah. It didn't, didn't look like the month. You know how, like, the Batman suit you normally see, like, it has the, the muscles. The Christian Bale had like the not connected head that he could turn, didn't he? Like, well, no, that, the didn't... first one he couldn't. Uh, the the second one he could, but still, like, it's, it just looks more built. You know, like more built up, like yeah. more armor on the suit. Whereas this one, like in the midsection and in the pants, it looks saggy almost. Yeah. Like it just didn't look. Mm. It just it didn't, didn't, look it didn't look good the same. to me. It didn't look the same. Yeah, and that was and just the dude sitting cheesy. on like the side, right? Like he wasn't. Like, no, we he don't was know what it's he looked like. He was like posing and, and shit, but I mean, I they, don't could, know. they could do some shit in post. Like I'm not too they concerned could, about they that. They could, outfit. but to me, I was like, because Danny, um, Danny sent, he sent me the picture first. Yeah. And he was like, "Yo, did you see this?" And now, and my response was like, "Oh, that doesn't." He was like, "Right, I thought it, like I thought I was the only one. It just didn't look. It didn't look flat. Like he, no. he was, he was like legit, like almost like sad about it. Like, like yo, man, like we've been wanting, like you know, like Michael yeah. Keaton's coming back, and like yeah, the, you know, like his costume just does, like his his suit just doesn't look." It doesn't look legit I mean, like it like it if, like it should have. If Michael Keaton wants to do the next Batman and like a Batman G string, I'm for it, bro. As long I as mean, Michael Keaton I'm comes back, I'm definitely not watching that. <laughs> you would totally watch. No, that, I would don't not. Even, like, no. You 100 percent would. I you I am <laughs> no no. So so we so we've already. Official. If it was canon, if it was no, canon, you would watch it. Absolutely not. So my my whole thought and and it kind of. I'm hoping that this whole Batgirl thing is like flashbacks with the Batman or something, mm. because I'm, I'm I'm very much hoping that we are we are still 
introducing him as an older Batman who's already been through the ringer. And, you know, we've said it like I want the Batman Beyond thing to, to happen, but I don't necessarily feel like he should continue the role as Batman being an old, you know, being older. Yeah. Um, like, you really going to tell me that he's been doing this shit for 30 years and right. he's just, you and know, no well, Batman able-bodied Beyond? and, you know, that's what yeah. Rock really wants. No, no, that, that is that is, is what I want. Is. That is what I want. But like to to continue the whole, he's been Batman for over thirty years, and he's still just like kicking ass. No, there's no there's no pain to come from it at all. Like it, it's just like all right. So now, if they're really milking this whole Michael Keaton being the Batman, then I'm like, oh, now you guys are fucking it up again. Especially <laughs> because. Like they're like it's 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 overlapping and it's starting to get confusing. Yeah. Too because we're getting the Batman next month. We get Flashpoint, which continues the story from Bat before yep. yeah. with Batfleck. So that this is already three Batman that we are having. And then when they announced that Batgirl was actually it's going to be on HBO Max, which we know uh Gotham PD is going to be HBO Max, mm-hmm. and that is set in the Matt Reeves Batman. Yep. But Batgirl isn't now. Now Batgirl's set in the Batman with Michael Keaton. So it's like, That's so it's starting weird. to get, it's, weird. It, yeah. it's very weird. And I had the conversation with Rocco. He's like, well, I'm looking at it like a, it's a comic book. And I'm like, yeah, but I get that. You're a comic book person. But a majority of people that are going to watch this are not comic book people. They're going to be confused. They are going to be confused. Fuck. They are going to hate this. Like, you know, and... and I, it's it's just way too much, and they need to either e- either reboot it like they did with uh, with the Batman, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stick to your fucking guns, and I don't know, but I I don't I, I, I was gonna spoil some shit with the other show, uh. but <clears throat> but I'm just saying like they keep throwing shit in trying to salvage. Yeah, they're trying to see what sticks. Trying to like. salvage this last story arc that they said we're not moving forward with Zack Snyder's. Yeah. Um, uh, Justice League. However, those fucking characters keep popping up, and we're getting a rebooted Batman. Like, what? What the fuck are we doing? Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm like confused in all this. I thought that that was at least going to lean into, okay, we're doing a futuristic Batman, which that story deviates and it just changes up. Now I'm all fucking confused on where this <laughs> is gonna go. So we're gonna just we're just gonna have to see where this where this lands. Right. Yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> I don't know. And we'll all see where it lands. We'll, we'll all see where a, it we'll lands. We'll make a judgment then, call from there. And WB will see one fail, yeah. see one succeed, and then go, well, let's just reboot it again so that we can have a, two other Batman. Right. Ugh, <laughs> like, <right. laughs> one's, like one's going to be a CW series <clears throat> at some point, right? Like that's... <laughs> It's so, so bad. Mm. Uh, anyway, I let's said, move on. Like, even... <clears throat> Even if you don't think CW, like, honestly, I don't think, like, Titans or Doom Patrol are that much better than CW. And that's what it seems like this shit is kind of... Yeah, first season had too. me. Second season, I was like, yeah, I had to yeah. drop off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with this. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, you gave it a I, I think I started, college try. Yeah, the first, the first season, I was like, oh, all right, cool. Like, this is pretty cool. And then we got For into Titans. a couple episodes of the second season. Yeah, yeah. Titans. And, and you were like, I was like, right. cheese dick. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm just, good on this. It's it's I, a step I above CW, CW, but not plus. much. It's CW plus. <laughs> yeah. CW plus. Get, you get yeah. that heavy like that. CW vibes, but they do yep. have I don't know thirty thousand more dollars for production. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I'm I'm hoping they can get their shit together, and yeah, they definitely need to lean into the darker. Uh, R-rated. R-rated, TVMA. Sure. Like, content, we yeah. obviously see that that shit works. That shit works. This shit is great. Um, and like, How and, can they not see this? If we're just some dumbasses on a podcast and we're like, yo, this is all fucking, how can they not be like, yo, who's, who's up about? there? And they're like, yo, we need to lean into this because this is what's fucking hitting. Like, yeah. I don't understand. So you are the consumer that is pissed off that Kanye is put releasing a two hundred dollar stem thing, and 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 Kanye is thinking about the money. He so is wait, the studio. Ka- Kanye is DC. Yeah, he's the yeah. studio thinking like, yo, how can how can I milk as much out of this as possible? And DC shits the bed, so that's what Kanye is going to do. So like, I'm not. That was a good. That was a good. 
comparison. But, but what like, I'm you, saying is made my point for but, me. No, but what I'm saying is they shit the bed more often than not. People will always watch it and then shit talk 100%. it afterward. But the money is coming the, in. He's already got the money, so he's laughing all the way to the bank at that point. <laughs> we're I, not I talking get, about Kanye anywhere. We're talking about DC saying. now. DC, Kanye, <laughs> Wegmans, Apple, they're all laughing all the way to the bank. It doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. So they don't care. As long as as long as you're talking about them, then the publicity is already right. there. Then you're already so you're like, gonna, we're, you're we're already, already we're doing Kanye a service just by <laughs> continuously just by talk. hashing yep. that out. Yep. Um all right, so in other Hollywood news, uh Ooh. Stranger Things came out Ooh. and Ooh. said that they're Wait, that what? they are ending Oh, I thought uh, you stra- said no, 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 oh, yeah, they no. didn't no. release. I was like, "What?" No, no, no. They did it didn't release. Damn. Um, no, they came out and said that that they are ending with season five. So season five is going to be the end of that's Stranger the, Things. The upcoming season? No, no, no. That's the that's the season. That's the following season. So we are. So they also announced that season four, which is coming out, will be split okay. into two volumes. Oh shit! So we're gonna get so we're, we're gonna get volume one on May twenty seventh, and then volume two will premiere July first. So we'll get so four season more seasons, four will basically. be split. Three. Well, I mean, so season four <laughs> is split in two. And yep. there's and then, and and then season five season is a finale. Five, but why would I not assume that they would also split season five into two? Possibly. Right. It, I mean, it's they, a possibility. They could. I, I don't like that trend of the splitting I don't the like final it either. season. I don't like it either. And even though the, even though this isn't it's the final Soprano season that's that being shit. split. Yeah. Yes, I, I don't like the split seasons. And that's just as a consumer from a greedy, I need to watch this all point of view. Like I get they're probably getting more money. They're stretching it out. They're giving their writers time, like whatever reason they have for it. Yeah. I get it. It's it's helping them in some way. Yeah. But for the consumer, I don't think it's a plus. Like there's no pros to th- a consumer is there like do you guys is, i don't know is, the is reason this good is this like, do you like this are you like oh cool Last just, season i mean split into it two? depends on the story because like yeah it gives you more time for a story that you like don't want to end if you don't want it to end then you're like yes give me more give me more um, i think i just chalked it up to this is one of the um this is one of the shows that was really hit by covid and I think I was just chalking it up to maybe they haven't completed everything. So they needed the extra time to, to put some like last mm. touches on that, on that second half. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that say like the, when it said that the split season, it starts in like May for the first part. And then the July. second part is July. Like why even split it? Like that's not, yeah. that's true. That's not yeah. that long, bro. It's yeah. not like Ozark where we got to wait till God right. knows when for the next fucking chunk to come out. Like, that at that point, when there's such a small amount of time between the split seasons, yeah, that's just a cock move, dude. It could be. Why? It could be. It, it, it could also because of their their um their marketing for it so far has been that different like teams have been going to different areas because uh, there are like openings to uh to uh, the upside down or whatever. There are different uh, openings that they have discovered throughout different areas. So I don't know if the first half has to do with a specific thing. Like travel time. And yeah, or something. And- well, just I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know if, like, the subject matter for the two would make more sense if it, if it were split rather than a continuous uh, lo- linear story. But I, mean, but I don't shows, know. Shows do sure. that all the time, yeah. though. Like, one, one arc ends in episode four, and then five, the next one starts up. Like, it's not anything new. Like, I don't, no, yeah. why, why do they need to... Oh, we got to start this trend, or we got to jump. I don't hate like it I, until I, I get to the it. end of the the first half, and I'm like, "Fuck, I really want to see that second half." <laughs> uh, especially because it's Netflix, and I haven't heard of them releasing it weekly. Uh-huh. I think this is all it's all releasing, and then we wait right. two more months, and then yeah. it's all releasing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that's, that's how Netflix. If, rolls. if they yeah. did it every right. single week, though. I, you know, and I think that would prolong it a little bit more and, sure. and make it feel a little bit, a little bit better. That's why I don't oh, mind those. That's yeah. why I like those, those services that do the weekly releases. 
I know we we yeah, like HBO, Disney Plus. Like the, yeah, we we hated on it. Like that was a big topic of discussion. Yeah, like yeah. you know the, the I like binging that shit versus because the it weekly. Makes and it last now it's, it's come back, and we're, the we, weekly we has, see why we like it. The weekly has grown on me. Yeah, like the yeah. like like Peacemaker. Like it, it's something to look forward exactly. to. Exactly. That's my my biggest reason is I like to I like to have something to look forward to and get me through a shitty week. Like oh, Friday's Peacemaker, and you know I well, get and to, it breaks it up yeah. because it does. It because does. Uh, like like right now. Me and my girl, we she she is a person where if we start something, I'm okay with deviating from that specific show and watching another episode of a different thing that we're watching and just kind of break it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. She is very much like every fucking day we need to continue this story. I'm kind and of I want in that to, same boat where I just want to get I want to bang it out, I want to finish it, I want to get there. But at the same time, if you're watching something serious, then you have something else funny to throw in there to like balance it out with. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to watch an hour episode of this serious drama. Sometimes it gets you like want that. you want a half True. hour of this lighthearted show that you know you can just enjoy and have a good time. Like, right. I, there's arguments for you know for both sides. I feel like yeah. So uh, so but it but when they release it every single week, it's mm-hmm. like okay. We only have that one episode, or even two to three episodes when they do the the three episodes first. Yeah, and then it's weekly. After that, we can catch up, and then it's like every week. Oh, today this episode dropped. Oh, okay. You kind of get excited about yeah, it. All right, absolutely. I want to watch that. Like it's um, the day but you, it gives you, you you wake up that day, and you're like, "Fuck!" Like it's Mando Day or yeah, it's Boba exactly. Day. Yeah. Like those were exactly. those were good days, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like we would wake up, and I'd be we'd all be working, but we would text <laughs> the chat like, "Yo, y'all watch Boba, Boba yeah?" Or you know, just something like <laughs> yeah. that, bro. And like it. It sets a tone and a vibe for the day that I go fuck. I need to watch that. It shouldn't matter, but it does, dude. Like yeah. to me, it does. Like it makes my day. It makes my week. Like yeah, it's you forget and it's like for oh sure. shit, for oh, sure. Cool. Yeah. Now I have something to look you up got forward to. Something stoked about or cool. something to get you through the day. Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm. I. I don't. I really haven't really thought any way on how I feel uh, about them splitting that up. But I think if we had to pick one, I would choose. You know, we have our, our, our binge all at once versus the weekly release. I do the weekly. I would go for the release three episodes and then do weekly. That's, like, yeah. Sort of like a best of both worlds. Yes, like, that's worlds, exactly. I, would, I love that. I like that. I would fuck with that because you, you, you get into the story. Yep. There's enough to get you ready for what's fucking coming. And then at that point, you've had so much in that little time that you binged it that you're like, all right, dude, you're going to wait fucking weekly for this shit <laughs> yeah, to drop. Yeah. Or like, I feel like it that's, gets you invested in those that's three. A, that's a nice hybrid. Yeah, I feel like absolutely. of both of those worlds, right? Something yep, just like dropped it. recently that only dropped the first two episodes. And I was like, what the mm. fuck is that? Why two? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Do you, do you try, remember? I think it was one of these Apple shows. Uh, I think it was Suspicion. Um, mm. See, but they, they're the ones who started the whole three episode are, thing. Yeah. Like, why why yeah. are they deviating to know. two? That, I think it was suspicion. <laughs> it dropped the first. Because I remember I seen it, and unless I caught it like a week after, and it, it dropped mm. with just one episode. Um, mm. But it, I remember when I, when I got to seeing, when I got around to seeing it, um, it was the first episode, and then... The second episode, and then I thought the third episode was gonna pop up. But when it came to like more to watch, it was like some other shows. And I was like, "What the fuck? There's only two? Yeah, Hulu did that with Pam and Tommy as well. Uh, and and me and Ash only we binged two? the the first. No, 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 no. It was three. They, oh, okay, they, they just okay. did like the limited the limited binge is what I like to call yeah. it. I like that three though. The, I like the yeah, three. The three. The three. The three, three is, is perfect. perfect, bro. Yeah. Three is perfect. And then now well, I'm that suckered in. in. Now you got me yep. for week to week to week. Yep. yep. And yep. but that that was your guys that both of you had that same rule, right? You give the uh the yeah the, the show, two or three, three episodes. Episode yeah. Three yeah. Ep- That's a three why episode fits, shot. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So yep. it works out. Works Absolutely. Out. All right. So uh next up is um so Casey Bloys confirms that uh HBO's The Last of Us will not be premiering in twenty twenty two. I did see oh. that. Which so was, we're not which, getting it until 2023. That was Damn. a bummer. Yeah. When I, when I read that. It is that, a bummer. Yeah. They're, they are still shooting still in Canada filming? right now. Yeah. Shit. I think the, the Canada restrictions are probably making it a little tougher could on be. these productions. Because well, I know Canada's be. a little bit stricter mm. on their their regulations and shit from yeah. what, I've, what I've read. 
Um, but yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's a bummer. Cause that's something, you know, Pedro, we were mm-hmm. waiting for some more Pedro Pascal yep. that, that cast is like Nick Offerman, I believe also yeah. was in there. Like it's just a, a really good cast and a, a game that I'm familiar with and that I've played in the story. Like I'm really stoked for it. So I was bummed to see that, but I mean, it's not like they gave us a date and they pushed it back. So I'm not. I'm not livid or anything like that. Like yeah, yeah, just, yeah. you know, because nothing was promised and we sure. didn't know when we Ex- were getting exactly. it anyway. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's the big difference between like this is the release date and then it's getting pushed back because of so yeah. and so. Like, and you know, with COVID and everything, like I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. That shit gets pushed back. Like I've we've sort of all learned to sort of roll with these punches that uh, that get thrown on the on the productions that we're looking forward to. But right. yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a bummer. But you know, it's gonna fuck when it comes out so yeah no we'll, i'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> we'll all be hanging really excited there. about for it for show for show i'm really excited about that one and um so uh we're gonna end the show on uh, uh some some good news here okay so um mobius uh is actually confirmed to be coming back in loki Season two, we're getting Ooh. a second season of Loki. All right, yeah. all right. And uh, and, and he, is um, this is confirmed. Yeah, this is confirmed by Owen Wilson himself, and he said that uh, that they wow. will be they will be filming that real soon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> we don't have that drop, but we should. <laughs> did we ever do the wow? Did we do the wow game? I can't remember if we did that or not. I don't think What's so. What's the wow game? Uh, I probably didn't. I couldn't figure out how to route the audio. <laughs> there was a game on online that basically uh, y- you would c- click a button uh, and it would play an Owen Wilson wow, and then you had to guess which movie it was from. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's fun! I would, I would do that. that. Would be crazy. I'll, I'll refine it and just send it to the group yeah, chat. Yeah, let's do it next sure. week. Next yeah. week we'll play. We'll let's post do that. How can we turn that into a drinking game? Right? Ooh. Um, <laughs> right? How can we turn that into a drinking Love it. game? Hey, everything's better with drinks. Absolutely. Um, no, but I, I, I was excited because we didn't know if we were getting another Loki. We did any of those uh, Disney Plus shows, bro. Yeah. You just don't know what yeah. if there's any more, if it's going to be continued. So, like, you hang on to every episode, every mm-hmm. bit of dialogue, mm-hmm. every Easter egg. Um, but no, that was one of the, you know, one of our good shows. I think we didn't we rank them or we picked a shitty one <laughs> last week or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, I like Loki I'm pretty was sure I'm 100 percent convinced there's one of the no best. WandaVision season two. No no, 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 there's not. That's there's not. Just gonna pretty much Doctor confirmed Strange, as a yeah. mini series. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But I'm, I'm very so, excited to see a Loki season two, though. Absolutely. I, I'm absolutely yeah. excited about that. Um, oh, uh, and the, the one thing that I haven't heard anyone talk about is the possibility of Loki um, turning up on um, in uh, a Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness. Of Madness yeah. So and and that is not Ooh. outside of the realm of him showing up in that, right, you know. Right. Yeah, that's a very downplayed. Like nobody really talks about that. Everybody's no excited about everything talk else about Loki. Yeah, it's all he's he's flying under the radar for sure. Yeah, but if he but it's but it's very possible that he shows up in this uh, in this series. So fucking a. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. And it would make sense if that happens, and then we get a season two of Loki. Hell yeah! Um, that kind of continues that his story make there. Sense, yeah. It would make sense either there or uh, Thor, because we do get Love and Thunder too. Right, this right, year. right. Yeah, maybe that make a little more sense in Thor. Love I don't. We don't of, know. Like, I don't. I can't make sense of the MCU. Like I'm not. Well, Kevin yeah, Feige. we just don't. don't we I don't we know what's going on? We know that that I mean, it um, is Thor. multiverse. Why not? Well. I'm just saying that we know that multiverse of madness has to deal with obviously the multiverse and Spider-Man did too. Um, and we knew that I, I have no idea if Thor love and thunder has to do with it because nothing, nothing at least points in that direction just yet. Obviously it's going to have to, because it seems like everything is kind of dealing with that, but we know literally nothing other than, uh, Christian Bale is playing, um, and I forgot who the character he's playing. I don't remember. Um, but he, mm. he's the villain in that. But that's it's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. And we won't know anything until after the marketing for uh, Multiverse of Madness uh, stops. And then 
we start receiving little bits and pieces of what Thor is. But I'm imagining if, if that does have to do with uh, the multiverse, then sure. Like we can't, we can't see Loki, but right now it just makes sense in multiverse of madness up to this point, knowing what I know, of, right. you know, so far. Yeah. Right. Shout. All right, guys, do we have anything else to add to this stellar, stellar conversation? Nah, congrats to rank the podcast for yeah, uh, yeah. My guy, he's gonna be he's gonna be super excited about he's that. Be he, he listens every week. Drippy. I'm stuck. It's he it's nice to see somebody week. that like really supports us. I was too, really to, hoping to for win that. something like that. I was like, really it, hoping I mean, for I I'm great grateful that other people are you yeah, know, yeah trying to get it and win. But like to see somebody that really has our back win something, it just it feels a little better than some rando that's like, yeah, I won this cool. Yeah, like, I, I really don't give a fuck I, about your podcast. I want free merch. Like. <laughs> I was I'm, really I'm hoping for about that. that. I yeah. was really hoping that somebody who oh, Obi Wan, so you know, yeah. like an, an OG fan, somebody that yeah, really exactly. has our back, bro. Like I'm, I'm really pumped about that. Word. Word. So, uh, so congrats on that. Um, and we'll get you, we'll get you your your stuff ASAP. Fuck yeah, get you your hoodie ASAP. Yep. Um, and thank you for everyone who who joined Absolutely. that uh, that get that giveaway. So, Word. all right, guys, you know what that means. It is now the end of the episode. Thank you for making it this far because if you've made it this far, that means you are an ultimate, ultimate fan and you actually give a shit about what we talk about. Uh, remember to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Uh, if you listen there, you can also give us a five star rating on Spotify. If you are watching us on YouTube, do the same, man. Give us that like. That little like means a lot to us uh, when we get those. Uh, makes us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And if you want to cop some merch like the big drippy hoodie that we just gave away go to insensitive merch.com and stay drippy with drippy merch and if we're not nerdy enough for you we're just not nerdy enough for you we don't know any of that comic book stuff search dfat entertainment and you'll find plenty of nerdy nerdy uh you know podcasts that will fill you in on all of the comic book stuff that we just don't have information on. But other than that, guys, thank you. We love you. Peace. Peace. Dookies. Dookie, dookie, dookies. Number two. Yeah, it's a two, 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 two.